in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you Her graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed Praise the Lord. So we will be looking at what the Lord is speaking to us as a family of faith and all those who are connected. Um, there are hundreds and thousands of people connected to this ministry prophetically, spiritually. And so we are only a minute fraction of the people that we minister to who are connecting and uh, we give God all the praise. Genesis chapter 1, please. Let's start off very quickly. Genesis chapter 1. Genesis 1, we'll look at 14 and 15. I just want to establish um, up front tonight the necessity of a prophetic word. Now, I know that there are people who... Um, Think the yearly prophetic words are just cliches ministries copying themselves and um, a lot of people have even argued that there's no such thing as that um, that's an error the Bible says in 14 it says and God said let there be light in the firmament of the heavens to divide day from night and let the light be for what for signs for seasons for days and for years 15 and let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth and it was so the bible says a light can give you a sign and that light is a revelation so god gives us revelation as a light to signify what he intends to do so that we can align with what god is doing hallelujah Oftentimes you will hear the prophet say, according to the time of life, this and this and that would happen. Um, when prophetic words are just coined out of pressure, it becomes useless and the people just believe a lie. But when prophetic words are birthed from the place of prayer and encounter, it represents the dealings of God. It represents his intention for a people, that which he desires to bring before people and then they learn how to align so that they can receive the fullness hallelujah the bible says that we will run it says write the vision it says make it plain in other words explain it let it be very clear take away ambiguity from it it says so that he will run that reads it hallelujah praise the lord the lord declared unto us that this is a year of multiplied grace and influence Brothers and sisters, this is not a cliche. There is no time, please listen, there is no time in the body of Christ where the church of the Lord Jesus Christ has agreed over the things that the Lord will be doing in a season as it is right now. Most times we argue with ourselves over different perspectives. Somebody is saying, God is, this is a year of something. Another person is talking and you are wondering, you mean God really said this? You know there are all kinds of differences but then you would notice if you've studied the body of christ especially the prophetic words that have come they have different linguistic expressions but the essence is communicating the very same thing that god is doing and so for me i am particularly very blessed and impressed with the body of christ and the ability of men of god to really align to the spirit and hear that which the Holy Ghost has to communicate. Hallelujah. Ezekiel chapter 47. Ezekiel 47. Ezekiel 
we'll read verse 2 to 5 and then we'll read verse 9 Ezekiel 47 Holy, holy, holy and the people say holy, holy Lord, you are holy, holy, holy. And the people say, holy, holy, holy. Lord, we say, holy, holy, holy. And the people say, holy, holy, holy. Is the Lord the Lord God Almighty is the Lord God Almighty the earth is full of your glory Lord our lives are full of your glory one more time and the people say, Holy, Holy, Holy. And the people say, Holy, Holy, Holy. And the people cry, Holy, Holy, Holy. Then he brought me out of the way of the gate, not words and led me about the way without unto the utter gate that looked eastward and behold there ran out waters on the right side verse 3 and when the man that had a line in his hands went forth eastward he measured a thousand cubits and he brought me through the waters and he says the waters were to my ankles verse 4 he says again after a season of proving after a season of dealing he saw a need to step up the grace and he said and again he measured a thousand and brought me through the waters he says and the waters were to my knees verse 4 again we're not done verse 4 please help us Again, he measured a thousand cubits and he brought me through and the waters were to my loins. Verse 5. Afterwards, he measured a thousand and he said it was a river that I could not pass over. He says, for the waters were risen, waters to swim in, a river that could not be passed over. Let's read verse 9. Verse 9. He says, and it shall come to pass. Listen, the implication of the encounter with that river. He says, it shall come to pass that everything that liveth, which moveth, whithersoever the river shall come, he says, shall live. Then he says, and there shall be a very great multitude of fish, because these waters shall come hither, for they shall be healed. And everything shall live without the river coming. That means it's, it's a river that will bring effect. It will be so striking. The Bible says whenever the river comes to a region, everything that is supposed to be alive, that is dead, that river has capacity to bring it back to life. And the people say, Holy, Holy, Holy. 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 Hallelujah. The last one month has been a season of profound encounters for me profound encounters um, I cannot begin to describe to you the experiences that I've had in the last one month very profound and 
deep spiritual experiences please pay attention and the lord began to show me so many things not just the prophetic word but direction for the body of christ that will be able to bring alignment we thank god as a ministry for what he has used this ministry to do to influence the life of people across this nation we thank god for the testimonies but let me tell you something compared to what god is about to do what you have seen are just shadows in the name of jesus christ i want you to be a believer this year make up your mind to believe every word that comes from the mouth of god the bible says they had the word just like we did it says but the word did not profit them make up your mind that you will not argue with the word of god this year don't sit down and be philosophical how shall these things be the river will just pass you by you've got to be determined this year and say lord every word that comes from you i will receive it and insist that it produces results in my life hallelujah god is a god that walks on earth with times and seasons and he has communicated to us as a family of faith that he intends to multiply the grace the anointing the access that he has given us and to give us influence grace talks of empowerment grace talks of access grace talks of ability grace talks of the anointing the very ability of god it's important for us to understand this The grace of God talks of his capacity, his anointing, his ability. That force that compels results. Scripture lets us know that grace can be multiplied. That grace is in measures. Listen please. The Bible says grace and peace be multiplied applied unto you grace and peace be multiplied that means a man can grow in grace a ministry can grow in grace prophetically revealing to us in ezekiel 47 that he started with the river at the level of the ankle then to the knees then to the loins and then it was a river that covered the prophet and he says that river flowed to regions and every territory that river entered it began to cause changes it caused that which was dead to come alive i want you to know that grace can be multiplied every level you have seen in god is only a shadow of the possibility that is in god are we together every level of grace you have seen if you think you saw the power of god in 2015 watch what god does this year if you think you saw miracles signs and wonders if you think you saw the dispensing of the word of god watch what he does this year grace can multiply grace can multiply and let me tell you something when grace multiplies it has a physical effect there is an evidence there's no such thing as grace multiplying and you are the only one who knows no when grace multiplies everything around you responds to the effect of that multiplication grace can multiply grace can multiply that's why you can see a man and track his life and know that grace has multiplied you can see a man of god and see the dispensing of the grace of god upon his life and you can study the track record of that growth you can know that a man started at this level but at this current level he's functioning at an altitude in the spirit that was not what he just like you can know that a man has backslidden you can know that a man was functioning at this dimension of grace but right now he is still functioning but you know that there has been a lag in the operation of the spirit grace and peace be multiplied the energy of god the ability of the spirit the power of the holy ghost that can be resident within a man compelling results he said it can multiply everything that is alive grows if the power of god is alive it can grow in a man 
Hallelujah. The healing anointing can multiply. The wisdom of God can multiply. The grace for finances can multiply. Access to deep realities in the spirit can multiply. The eyes to see and the ears to hear can multiply. And this is the season God intends to multiply everything. Every operation of the spirit you have seen. Hallelujah. Influence is the ability the ability to compel the ideology of a man the ideology of a people the ideology of a territory the ability to compel the ideology of a territory to bend towards a particular direction without using human force and cruelty is called influence if i'm able to do something to you that compels you to adjust to my paradigm of thinking that's an influence i like the 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 uh, um, the um, poster that was created by the media department you see that match the, the matches one having the fire and all he needs to do is go close enough he will compel all the rest to catch that fire we call that influence the ability to cause men to buy into your ideologies to institutionalize your ideology such that even those who do not agree with you will be compelled to walk in that reality this is what influence is the bible says it was noised abroad that jesus was in town and all kinds of people found themselves around those who didn't like him those who were critics those who were indifferent those who were passionately loyal for reasons they could not explain they found themselves the bible says he went up the mountain they still followed him that's influence listen the key to kingdom advancement is not just evangelism as we know the key to kingdom advancement is influence the ability to bring a territory under like a spell you bring a territory under an understanding you compel people to think in a certain way you compel the economy of a territory to operate in a certain trajectory it's called influence did you know that there is a level of influence you can exert on a territory such that even those who do not believe in god will be forced to adopt certain languages in their english because that becomes the language of communication it's called influence once upon a time there were no networks in nigeria not one aside from nitel but a communications company came and marketed a proposal and right now it has become an addiction people literally cry when their phones get missing and they are on their way to go and do welcome back they, they have they have influenced you so much they created a package called welcome back in other words when you run away i create a provision to come under my spell now that's influence there are people in the village who cannot spell jesus but they know coca-cola influence every tribe in the world knows coca-cola the name is coca-cola no tribe calls anything by their own it's called coca-cola the three most influential names brands right in the world although it's been upgraded now number one is jesus number two michael jackson before he died number three coca-cola think about that right now the most influential brand in the world is google apple followed by google the kingdom of god will have to ascend in such a way and a manner that it will no longer just be one-on-one -on -one evangelism the territory forces people all roads must lead to the cross all roads no matter how people try to do it 
we come to a point where our thoughts become that which is aligned to the kingdom the songs become that which is aligned to the kingdom if they must crack any joke it must have a paradigm with the kingdom you won't do see the difference between the holy spirit and saddam hussein is this both of them try to exact influence but one brings his influence with physical threats are we together but the holy ghost reveals to you the excellency of his way are you getting the point now he shows you the all surpassing superiority of working with him there is a level give us micah chapter 4 please one and two and then i begin to explain to us very quickly the things that the lord has put in my heart micah chapter 4 one and two it's a scripture that speaks powerfully about the prophetic state of the church can we read it together one to read but in the last days it shall come to pass that the mountain of the house of the lord shall be established in the top of the mountains and it shall be exalted above the hills it says and people shall what flow to it listen he never said they will call the people look at this he never said they will call the people something will happen upon that mountain that will force people literally it's a compelling power they will flow to it he says and how many nations please help me how many nations he says and many nations shall come and say come let us go where will the evangelism happen among themselves an ability will make them to start drawing themselves and say come let us go up to the mountain of the lord to the house of the god of jacob he says and he will what teach us he will change our mindsets he will adjust our ideologies he says and we will walk in his path for the lord shall go forth from zion and the word of the lord from jerusalem this is what will happen let me tell you the church is not a weakling there is an energy and the ability of the ecclesia god's very church we will arise in a mighty way and shock creation the key is not to take the world i see a lot of people dreaming and say i'm going to take every world i tell them that's not how when god says you will take over the earth the key is to create a prototype of your agenda in a territory that's the key the kingdom always spreads like a seed there are people who have not done well where god where they are domiciled and they are thinking of no 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 the key is to plant a prototype of your ideology and that becomes the platform the template from which you will influence other territories you must jesus christ came to israel jerusalem created a prototype of his life and then compelled certain people called the sent ones and began to send them through regions so everywhere they went they were envoys of those ideologies backed up by the government that sent them this is the key to strategic kingdom advancement let me tell you something it's not just by traveling planting a church in london uk there's a time and a place for that but the greatest key to maximum influence is to be able to represent the ideology of, a, of the Christ so strategically in a region that every other region can look at it as a template. That's how Hillsong spread abroad. They stood in Australia and did something so striking. This year, Zaria will be a place of pilgrimage. I tell you, you will see week after, the same way you go to Jerusalem, write this down. You will see people trooping in just waiting because it is the mountain of the lord the place where god has chosen to build his habitation it's an election of grace are we together isaiah chapter 60 let's start from verse 1 but my focus is 3 Isaiah 60 arise he says shine for thy light is come 
and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Verse 2. For behold, darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people. He says, but the Lord shall arise upon thee and his glory shall be seen. Listen, listen. Let me tell you something. Don't ever let anything you read on the newspaper scare you this year. God has shown me this year. It's a glorious year for the church. Write it down. Believe me. I'm telling you. It's, it's not a... It, it has never been a thing of confusion about the drop in oil price and all of these things. This is something we said years ago and we're insulted for it. But let me tell you, you will see the glory of the church emerge. See, Satan moves by ministering fear. Fear is a spirit. Are we together now? And the Bible tells us that as a man thinketh, so he is. And so the media, while in a, in, in a state of sincerity to address what they call the state of the nation, have gone to market an ideology that makes people think, oh, this year, I don't know about you, but this year is a year for me of multiplied grace and influence. The Bible says when you see darkness start rejoicing, it's a sign. There will be a separation this year like Egypt and Goshen. That on one side there was darkness. But then on another side they were not even aware of what was happening. Ah, don't call what they call conspiracy, conspiracy. He said when men say, that means you are not men. When men say there is a casting down. Those who have been altered by ability of the spirit will say there is a lifting up. I refuse to make any declaration that is against the word of God. No government, no newspaper will deceive me into agreeing with the agenda of darkness. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth. Listen, it says, and gross darkness the people, but upon, but the Lord shall arise upon you. And his glory shall be seen upon you. Oh, hallelujah. Let's read verse 3. This is my scripture. Goodness. It says, and Gentiles shall what? Stop. It didn't say, I will go and call them. Makatala Sotaya. Something will happen upon my life this year. The wisdom of the spirit. The multiplication of his grace. It says, it will compel Gentiles. They will come by themselves. Gentiles will come. Not to you your light something you carry will compel attention it has nothing to do with whether they like you or not there is a level of prosperity you can enter there is a level of the anointing access to the dimensions of the spirit it will compel nations to come and then it gets better it says and their kings those that represent governments those that represent mountains it says their kings will come your light will start rising listen was it not in your bible when solomon's glory started rising every other person came but the queen of sheba refused to come she had a pride but that light was so bright the queen of sheba had to take gifts and come and say who is this solomon listen the bible says when she came to solomon she saw the arrangement of his table and saw everything she said half of what was told me he said i was not told half of what i'm seeing now he said when she saw everything there was no spirit in her it's god's ability god's ability is working in me is working in me is God's ability God's ability is working in me it's God's ability it is God's ability working in me hallelujah please sit down mm, we are believers in this place we are believers in this place listen 
this is the year you must take God seriously when God speaks he's not your lecturer he's not suggesting when God speaks he's not your boss in office when God speaks he looks at himself first whether he can defend what he's about to say and then he will say it he speaks on the strength of his might have you not read that God looked in heaven to find who was greater than him because he wanted to make a dangerous statement that he could not lie so he was looking for a witness that was greater than him and not finding any he swore by himself what is our expectation in this season Some of these things I'm going to be reading out were the exact words of the Lord as it came to me. The Lord told me that in this season, he will be granting us supernatural access to the following. Please write. Supernatural access to number one, revelations. There will be a depth of revelation. We will break into a spiritual fountain of revelation. Hallelujah. And this is the scripture of the Lord in fact it, it was before the scripture came it was an impression upon my heart and the bible tells us remember in scripture listen please remember in scripture when the bible says two men at a place called emmaus they were walking and jesus was with them but they did not know he was the one that the word is near you does not mean you understand it that you are reading it they were with jesus the christ the living word the resurrected christ he was walking with them but they did not know he was the one listen many people just carry bible and think they are growing spiritually others think because they are looking at it they convince themselves that they are growing others have memory verses and crime verses which is not bad but they think because of it is a sign that they are growing and the bible says when they were at table he broke the bread and their eyes were open listen this is the year god will give us access to light light illumination illumination it says you will arise and shine for your light is come not because you are tired of sitting down there is a light that god will give you that will drive out certain darkness in your life forever forever he will give us access to anointings there are graces there are abilities of the spirit brothers and sisters please hear me there is nobody who is doing great things for god who does it by the strength of the flesh no no there is an anointing that is responsible for every result you see in the kingdom there is an anointing it's not about struggling there is a grace your own labor is to enter that dimension but once you are there you are there are we together there is a level of grace that god wants to multiply in your life not just please personalize this thing i'm taking out time to teach it because i want you to believe it you must believe that in my life there is a level of grace there is a level of the anointing the anointing does not make the difference the anointing is the difference it doesn't make the difference the anointing is the difference a handkerchief with the anointing upon all of a sudden becomes supernatural a donkey with an anointing upon it all of a sudden becomes a prophet oh come on the anointing is never trivialize the anointing and the effect of it in your life there are doors only certain kinds of graces can open are we together we must believe God to multiply anointings in our lives God will give us access to people very important God will give us access to resources God will give us access to opportunities to the end that we will birth greater levels of salvation, encounters, transformation, and revival. He will supply all these things to the end that we'll be able to birth through the Spirit greater levels 
of salvation greater levels of encounters greater levels of transformation greater levels of revivals there's an army rising up there's an army rising up in this very season there's an army rising up they will break every chain break every chain they will break every chain please write it down quickly there are five areas that i want us to focus on this year please listen five areas very quickly for us to maximize the prophetic word that the lord has given there are five areas that the lord would want us to focus and pay attention number one on our spiritual growth the first area of focus that you must contend in the spirit that there must be multiplication of grace is on your spiritual growth please listen this year there will be multiplied grace for notable spiritual progress are, are you listening to me that you can look by december and know that you 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 entered a dimension in the spirit there must be notable spiritual growth in your life this year please make sure you write it down god is releasing grace for notable spiritual growth You must increase your passion for God. I'm teaching you how to maximize the demands on your own path. You must, you must take advantage of this grace and increase your passion for God. Increase your passion for the things of God. And increase your passion for the house of God. This is not the year where you miss koinonia anyhow for reasons say there was rain all my clothes there was no iron to I no 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 there must be a desperation for God a desperation for the things of God a desperation for the house of God it was David that said I'd rather be a doorkeeper in your house have you read that scripture that he so passionately loved the house of God listen the foundation of the quality experience of the prophetic word of the lord this year is hinged upon your increased passion for god god told me something and i'm going to say it exactly as he said this is what he said he said tell my people to give me time and take me seriously i wrote it down tell my people to give me time god is asking for time this year listen because all you have in your life is time Whoever you give your time to, you have given your life to. So don't say you have given your life to God and not give him time. This is not the year of miserly time. You, you, you sleep for 10 hours, use 10 hours watching films, which is alright. But this is the year you must invest in his presence. Invest in his presence like a business and see the returns that comes from you. increase passion for god your passion must increase for spiritual activities prayer and fasting the study of the word this is not the year for laziness is god speaking to us your prayer life must jack back if 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 you know your prayer life is dying please don't let anybody deceive you there is trouble are we together if anything that attacks your prayer life in 2016 is the greatest attack from the kingdom of darkness men ought always to pray Luke 18 verse 1 he spake a parable to this end that men ought always to pray and not to faint prayer is the place where people generate strength and capacity you can know when a man has the absence of prayer there is nothing that can replace the energy that prayer brings please give god time tell your neighbor give god time this year talk to him talk to him seriously give god time it's a strong admonition say give god time in 2016 don't 
be busy looking for money running around looking for money looking for job thank god for those things there is a place for them but brothers and sisters i call you to a place where you will hit the jackpot for this year invest in his presence the presence of god will give you what money will never give you i know we used to nod when i said but many of us don't believe it his presence prayer and fasting don't eat away your destiny this year prayer and fasting quality fasting done with revelation not compulsion to prove to people no 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 don't allow religion to destroy you this year but you must pray brothers and sisters maximize your night time i've taught you this thing it's just that many you see ba many of us don't take seriously the word of the lord that comes if you are obedient to the truth of god's word you'll be amazed to see the results in your life maximize your night times i have learned this is a mystery of tremendous spiritual power the bible says and the evening came and the morning he never mentioned morning before evening there is a mystery of the night time you are alone with worship even if it's for 30 minutes people are snoring around and you are praying lord i establish realities i command my morning i decree and declare it's my year of supernatural influence it's my year of multiplied grace and you are speaking and inspiration is coming and you are writing you soak yourself in worship you create like a spiritual magnetic field you get up in the morning and you are compelling things that people cannot understand do you not know that the morning is like a woman that has a womb go and read your bible it was a prophet that let us know that things can be planted in the womb of the morning it gives the morning the character of a woman and just like a man plants a seed in the womb of his wife and expects her to deliver the delivery time is your daytime the night is when you impregnate your day with prophecy and allow it to deliver to you realities many people let me tell you the engine room of real power is to pray your secret place especially night prayers and you walk in the morning and you encounter miracles and breakthroughs he told job has thou commanded thy morning not has thou commanded thy night hallelujah This year, you must invest in quality teaching and materials. Please. Get all the koinonia messages you can. Some of us pride ourselves around distributing koinonia messages to people, which is very good, but never listen to it ourselves. You carry it around and you are happy to be a, a, an, a, an evangelist. You are distributing it around. Ah, you mean you know Apostle? Ah, ah Apostle, I can't even call him now. You are busy marketing which is okay but you are dying don't forget the bible says let it not be that i haven't preached i myself god knows how many times i sit down and soak in koinonia messages i'm blasting in tongues and listening to them and where apostle joshua selman is prophesying i get down on my knees and i'm receiving it for my life please take your destiny seriously there is a message for everything every major thing you are looking for you find out that the flesh is growing in you there is a message locate one flog yourself back to alignment you are dying spiritually find a message you are having one a get miracle service message and fast forward it to the place where prophecy started and see please engage the word this year tell your neighbor engage the word do it engage the word the same way you engage a man in a conversation put pressure on the word to produce results for you don't sit down and say oh, if god wants it to work i've been doing it no you are not work it work it work out your salvation with fear and trembling so your spiritual life i'm determined this year that my spiritual life will enter a dimension 
that has never been god has shown me the possibilities he can go with me if i'm if i'm interested and he asked me whether i'm interested what do you think my answer is my goodness lead me lord i will follow lead me lord i will go you have called me and i will answer lead me lord i will go god is calling us to a higher level never be satisfied with where you are are you hearing what i'm saying please write it down write it i refuse to be satisfied with where i am I know you've seen some results in your spiritual life you've seen the prophetic grace you've seen uh, an anointing you've seen some level of result but it's child's play compared to where god wants to take you if you are interested and you stay through with god he will surprise you this year james chapter 4 verse 8 says that when we draw near to him he says he will draw near to us when you draw near to him you must take that step with expectation the second area of focus this year for us to maximize this prophetic word is the area of mental transformation mental transformation romans chapter 12 verse 2 listen listen i've taught us again and again that the quality of a man's life is at the mercy of his ideology this year i want us to insist that we are going to lay aside every stumbling block we've held on to that is stopping us please those outside i hope we are listening can you shout hallelujah those outside praise the lord make sure that you pay the price take advantage of the grace of god and contend for transformation the bible says and be not conformed to this world the greek word aeon the thinking pattern that comes with this age be not conformed it says refuse it reject it reject their way of talking reject their behavior reject their way of responding to life it's a choice it says be not conformed to this world then it says but be ye transformed right transform how by the renewing of your mind that's what the bible says that we are transformed not by wishing by the renewing of our minds focus on sustaining a renewed and transformed mind focus don't say it's like that everybody in your family that poverty mindset must die a natural death this year you must reject it let them hate you no problem reject it don't let people carry their failure and bring it upon you as an impartation don't let anybody tell you financial prosperity is not important don't let anybody tell you doing well in your life is not important you never replace one dimension of kingdom progress for another you can know god and still be poor are we together you can be praying in tongues and still be a bad husband there must be balance that's the true church that is shown to us in revelations 19 you can listen to my message the full gospel i've always frowned at the exaggeration of the body of christ emphasizing one truth to the detriment of another so i'm teaching you on spiritual growth and forgetting the fact that you have children to feed you have school fees to pay no god is not that kind of god there must be a balance he said come and i will show you the lamb's wife he said he showed me a city that was equal in length equal in breadth equal in depth no exaggeration that's the true church i will never be the preacher who will mislead you to emphasize one area of spiritual growth at the detriment of another you will get balance so that it is okay to serve god and be rich are we together it is okay to serve god and be a ceo and lead we keep preaching all these um religious messages in church that move people closer to god and draw them away from the world and then we become victims of the decisions of those who control these mountains 
but in this season we reject it we are going like daniels with the anointing of the spirit but we will still enter the system the great commission was going into the world not carry a truck to the streets that's all right but it said enter the system go ye into cosmos and influence it with an ideology that's the gospel but you can never rise above and beyond a transformed mind please believe me when i tell you your level of right, life right now is what your mindset has produced for you this is uncomfortably true you must believe it there is something about your understanding that is keeping you where you are from entitlement mentality that makes us believe it is government that should pay us right to those who believe that all they need to succeed in life is to get a job is that really true a job is wonderful i pray for you at the end of the service i'll pray for you but let me tell you a job cannot fund your assignment you know that right a job cannot build a house for you a job can only help you to barely survive exactly what satan wants barely survive so that you never hear god you never sow seeds you never give you are so busy making money you don't have time for the agenda of god i reject that kind of living in the name of jesus christ mary said how shall these things be seeing that i know not a man oh god i'm i'm i'm, I'm strange to this kind of experience but god said the power of the highest that's how it will happen so don't sit down wondering will god really change my story will god really wipe my tears are you kidding you've forgotten the god who can change people he said by this time tomorrow listen i believe god oh i told you in this year make sure you insist on being a believer that i receive the word of god don't let the enemy come and steal the seed which is the word of god in january we can all believe two weeks after now you find a lot of people frowning at their convictions as though they were playing games in church mental transformation you must lay down wrong and limiting ideologies lay them down ideologies that let you think that you cannot be a leader where you are ideologies that train you to do things that are not consistent with the ways of god is devilish and you must lay it down My father is wicked. It's not only your father. Many fathers have been wicked. But people triumph through that wickedness. Are we together? Nobody likes me. You are not alone. You are never alone. You are plenty that people don't like. You have to stop giving excuses. Tell your neighbor. Say stop giving excuses. Stop explaining why you should not move forward. There are so many people. They will explain to you. If only I had space. I had a room to myself. My prayer life will be back. Now that you don't have, what will you do with the one that is there? You must create a strategy. I would have fasted, but the truth is, the way my nutrition is, I'm not even sure. It's not like I have, I understand the program. It's just as it comes. No, those things are flimsy excuses. Take away those limiting mindsets. I live a very supernatural life. I don't see impossibility in my life. And I don't say it just as a, a, a way of motivation. I really do. I don't see impossibilities in my life. I'm only limited by the voice of the Spirit. The Bible said, can two walk together except they agree? You and the Holy Spirit cannot walk together if you don't agree with Him. God is telling you, this is what I open up before you. Are you willing? And you say, Holy Spirit, it's just because you didn't grow up in my family. Uh, hey. Lay your hands on your head and pray for one minute. And say, Lord, everything that is resident in my mind that is not of you must give way. Please pray. Please pray. For as he thinketh in his heart, so he is. Please pray. Pray out every limiting belief. Oh, I believe God for anything. He can take me anywhere. 
he can lift me from the dunghill this i believe he can crown me with honor and glory this i believe he can bring an anointing in my life i refuse to let my background limit me i refuse to let the awareness of where i come from and what has happened in my life limit me those outside are you praying lay your hands on your head i reject it every negative mindset tying down my life every negative mindset tying down my business every negative mindset tying down my education are you praying this is the year i call the devil a liar i reject him i reject him i reject that word it's a choice i choose to believe god i choose to believe god hallelujah don't ever sit back and allow the devil destroy you listen everything you see did not just happen by mistake it takes a man to see what others are not seeing to go where others will not go this is the year don't let people talk you down and lie to you it will take your faith you must believe believe in god and commit yourself don't be afraid of making mistakes are you hearing what i'm saying don't be afraid of making mistakes don't live in this this carefree world where everybody say take it easy and they kill you god is inspiring you to start up a business that can bail your family and people are saying take it easy you know the way nigeria is well please let me tell you something if you if you talk and live like them you will die like them are we together somebody looks at you as a student and says you are 1.5 are you aware of that yet every time you sleep you see god doing great things in your life how shall these things be this is the year to believe and one way to believe is to run away from all those naysayers there are people who are negative by default they are your enemies this year make sure you run away from them intentionally you say why are you running away from us it's like you are running it's not like i am running i'm leaving you i intend to grow listen listen all this loyalty to people who will destroy your life we were childhood friends so what i intend to grow any man that is not seeing what i'm seeing should not be working with me are we together come let me use you for you say okay you are your cameraman come watch this turn all right move forward let's all move forward go go, go. Move forward look at this his forward is not my forward are we together we are all attempting to move forward it just so happens that for some reason he's unwilling to bend to my direction I'm not your enemy. I'm just not going where you are going. I'm not saying where you are going is wrong. I'm just saying it's not my address. Are we together? Please. This is the year you must sustain courage to look at people and say, no, I I'm not a musician. I'm not against your music ministry. But God didn't call me to sing. Please, don't force me to do rehearsal when I'm sleeping. I'm a businessman. I love your music. May God anoint you. I will encourage you. When I make the money, I will support your album. But for now, let me focus. Listen, listen. I know we are laughing. You think I'm playing. This came out of the secret place. Days of intense fasting with full concentration. Not laughing around. It's amazing how many people never make it because of distraction you're on your way going to do something you are there singing and god is saying I, I already prepared people see when you are not in your assigned place you will always feel secondary you will find everybody there and not find a space for yourself you now get up and say i'm into logistics you want to be like aaron it's not working later you say i think i like her look settle down this year re-edit your mind and find where god has placed you and died here 
tell yourself it is to die, I will die there. Stop escorting men visionlessly. Even as a pastor, this is the year to know exactly what God told you. Your assignment is not the Great Commission. Are we together? The Great Commission is for everybody. Set to and find what is the grace, what anointing. God, what did you tell me? Oh, 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 Sing it unto the Lord. Oh, 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 Still on point two, let's hurry up. Lay aside wrong behavioral traits. We are still on that point two, mental transformation. First Peter 2 verse 1, please give it to us quickly. First Peter 2 verse 1. Anger, envy, pride, bitterness, dishonor, all these traits that have kept you down. This is the year you make up your mind, I'm not gossiping about people. Because I found out everybody I'm gossiping about has moved forward and left me alone. This year, I want to move forward. At least let somebody talk about me. The Bible says, wherefore? Doing what? Laying aside. Laying aside. All malice and guile and hypocrisies and envies and what? Evil speaking. There are some people when you sit down close to them, five minutes your spirit is down. Because they, they have what we call evil speakings. Always bad news. Always what someone said. No, you must change. You must change. Anger, you must lay it aside this year. God opened a door, your anger closed it. God opened a door, your anger closed it. Your husband was coming, your anger drove him. Your wife was almost arriving, your anger sent her away. This year, make up your mind that anger will not destroy my destiny. There are people who, do, you were at the verge of breakthroughs, but this anger, rage, ha, that's how we are in our family. Ask my mother, we're all like that. When we're angry, just stay away, please. I want you to maximize this multiplied grace. The one you had last year, it has increased now. So there's no excuse. Maximize the grace and say no to anger. Because it will destroy you. Envy. Envy. You never do anything with your life. You watch people have results and you are looking for what they do. Let me tell you something about envy. It never affects the one who you are talking about or the one you are envious. It's, it's such a frustrating venture. It doesn't touch the... Pe even if it at least let it touch it it's better to fight directly fighting you sit down and tie yourself down and then the unfortunate thing is the bible says the part of the justice as a shining light so for how long will you hold it envy pride this year as a family of faith and as individuals we must run away from pride brothers and sisters pride is a killer are we together believing you can make it without God looking down on others pushing people down to show you are successful no lay it down bitterness there are people who just say I'm not happy why I say this world is a sad world hey you have a long journey a long journey to go say, I'm just sad why is everywhere like this the place is moody and the devil says this is exactly what I'm looking for this year I choose to be joyful the Bible says, rejoice always it didn't say rejoice when you have money rejoice always and in case you forget again I say rejoice number three the third area the Lord wants us to focus on is our health first Corinthians 6 verse 12 to 20 we don't have the time to read it our health the Bible tells you authoritatively that your body is the temple of the Lord Jesus Christ. Right? Everyone say it. Say my body 
is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Say one more time. My body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Listen. It honors God for you to take care of your body. Are we together? This year, the way you punished your body in 2015, you have to rethink this year. Are we together? It's very important. You must live a healthy and a balanced life. No laziness and no overstressing yourself. That's the balance. There are those who are sluggish and lazy. Spiritually, it flows down. Intellectually, it now culminates physically. Inertia for everything. It takes you two days to do what five minutes can do. Laziness is still an insult to the body. And then overstressing yourself. Hallelujah. When you read about the wealth revival, you will know that what killed the pioneer of the wealth revival was not necessarily any demonic attack. He literally stretched himself to death. No matter how busy you are, I believe that if I'm not mistaken, I probably will, may be one of the busiest people among us here. But you must still create time to rest. You may not have quantity of time, but you must have quality. Eat well. God is faithful. Please eat well this year. Don't punish yourself. You need to add one more ingredient that you just look and say, if I add this, no. What if you don't add it and you die? You see, you, you think intelligently. This year, please, please. We are at different levels, but pay serious attention to your health. When you really fall sick, you will find out that all you have is time and your life. Are we together? You can have all the money in this world. If you play with your health, MOG, all the men of God here, listen, please. Find time to rest. Walk your life out, but rest. When you preach, they will mourn you for seven days and people will continue preaching. Are we together? I shared with you my story when the Lord delivered me and showed me, told me to look at the crucifix. And for the first time I realized I did not die for the world. No, my name is not Jesus. My name is Joshua Selman. The Hebrew Joshua means Jehoshua. Yes, Jesus, but I am not Jesus of Nazareth. My father was not a carpenter. And so I realized that I am an ambassador, not the Christ. So you must rest. One of the most comforting scriptures for me, because everything, once there's no scriptural backing, I don't believe it. He says, and God rested. Come on now. Not an angels, and God. Whether you call it sleeping or ceasing from work, I know that at that period he didn't do anything. Do it. He said, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. It's not just the mind to walk, it's the mind to rest. How many people go to hospitals today and doctors tell them, honestly, there's nothing wrong. They say, look, I know what, I'm the one feeling what is wrong. They say, there's nothing, we've checked. Just rest. And they go back and rest and they get up strong. Sleep is a mystery. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Sleep is a mystery. God used it to do a lot of things. You can still advance the kingdom even as you rest it was in adam's sleep that eve came it was in jacob's sleep that he had a dream it was in joseph's sleep that he had direction for where to run away with jesus sometimes after you have worshipped and run around sleep your way into the revelation that you wake up with and it will move you oh yes absolutely if jacob did not sleep he would never know that was the gate of heaven his senses were alive looking for breakthrough and sleep and he saw angels if sleep will give me an encounter i will sleep because i need it i need serious encounters this year if you don't see it when you are awake why don't you sleep it will rest well your personal hygiene that's all right your personal hygiene i won't talk much there i'm not a medical practitioner but i'm one who intends to live long listen listen 
take care of yourself and your personal hygiene please don't say it does not matter do not let the financial situation in your pocket reflect in your life and your body you live anyhow you wear clothes smelling sweat all around you don't care you just smell it and say is it too bad your neighbor smells and no no don't just laugh i have to say it i have the responsibility to say it i've told us about that bathing you do with three-quarter bucket somebody as tall as me you run and enter and while you are talking in less than one your phone is ringing before it finishes ringing five or six times you are out my brother you didn't bath i i assure you you didn't bath if that's what you have been doing it must change your health food that has spoiled you are there eat he said you are i can still warm it if it has spoiled let it go we are still going to have miracle services but i'm saying we can minimize casualties nothing hallelujah number four number four please write number four the fourth area finances god wants us to focus and experience multiplied grace deuteronomy chapter 29 verse 9 it's our year of multiplied grace and influence and that even in the area of finances very quickly deuteronomy 29 verse 9 i'd like us to read everyone please one to read what's the condition he said keep keep therefore keep these words of this covenant and he said do them he didn't just say keep them in your jota and leave them there he said do them practice them in truth he says that you must prosper write the following to guide us through our finances number one set clear financial goals set clear financial goals this year and work with the holy spirit to achieve them i want to be rich is a mirage you you'll never get blessed that way I want to be rich will never get you rich listen there is a mystery about writing and clarity the bible says, write the vision then it says make it plain what is your financial target don't, don't write foolish childish things i need one bill no 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 no. start gradually faith is not stupidity start gradually write something that is able to take you from where you are to the next level don't say how will it come leave that that's not your business you get frustrated when you are thinking of how it will come the bible says just like you do not know how bones are formed in the womb of how a child nor the way of the wind you don't know how the wind comes you don't know how a seed becomes bones in a child is that not a mystery that a woman carries a seed and within the space of nine months that seed becomes bones hard bones becomes teeth that can stay for for hundreds of years and not just disintegrate and leave that's a mystery he said that one leave it to god your job is to get the seed in the womb of the woman the remaining activity is god's work there are certain things about the equation of success you can never understand there is a mystery in it that is exclusive to the office of god trying to understand it will frustrate you brothers and sisters keep your own part and watch the miracle work out set clear financial goals what is your financial goal for this year as a ministry we have financial goals in my personal life i have financial goals you must set financial goals number two to experience that grace in your finances master the laws of favor and abundance master the laws that govern the release of favor and abundance favor is a law preachers have said favor happens anyhow is a lie is a lie favor it is the the dispensing of favor that happens automatically favor is initiated by exact spiritual laws that can be understood and reproduced it may take time 
see i'm human i know that it's not easy but i'm telling you if you master those laws you have built yourself out from this mess that is eating up the earth master the laws of favor you can get the teachings financial dominion part one to four and the wealthy place part one to four please make sure you get this teaching sit with them sit with them understand what god has said and then practice the laws do them he said now that you know these things he said happy are you when you do them you've got to do them you've got to do them the laws of tithing i want you to pay attention to four laws when it comes to giving this year your tithing please look up let me preach to you i want you to be determined this year that you are going to be faithful in tithing first and foremost because you love the lord and second because you want to activate the operation of the blessing in your life don't say i'm poor how much do i have how much do i give god that's your way out that's your way out never forget i already shared with us that your tithing is like a spiritual circumcision remember our teaching the wealthy place that your tithing is a spiritual circumcision that authorizes god to come and partner with you melchizedek the high priest received the tithe of abraham and did what he spoke the blessing over him and the bible says christ today is our melchizedek what was the office of melchizedek what was the function he received tithe and prophesied on the givers so jesus in that office of melchizedek receives your tithe and releases activates the blessing and i told you what the blessing is a dimension of the operation of the holy spirit that attracts to your life people opportunities and resources that's the blessing it's like an electromagnetic field when it comes upon your life everyone that comes within that circumference is compelled to respond to you in another way it's like a charm when it is on you have you heard people call you and say i don't know god just put it in my mind to bless you listen nobody gets up and blesses another person just by default if you are waiting for that you are dreaming something must compel them it's an operation of god called the father of spirits I, I don't want to start there are loaded messages for this year i don't want to go ahead of myself praise the lord there is a very extensive curriculum that will stretch you this year until you step into that dimension of grace very very important the father of spirits god gave me the revelation remember i taught us in james i think 226 or so he says for as the body without the spirit anything you do just from the flesh realm without a spirit component cannot work that business without the spirit will die your family without the spirit will die he said for the body without the spirit is dead so you must pay attention to practicing these laws when people in the shrine want to kill a man how do they do it they leave the man snoring in his room and use some enchantments is that true they invoke the spirit of that man you see it in nigerian films right and he appears that man is sleeping he's not even aware they called forth his spirit and separated it from his body and the spirit appeared in the shrine and then they gave the spirit instruction from today become unfaithful are we together from today become poor it's a programming upon his spirit and then the spirit returns to the body and the helpless body gets up and becomes a slave to prophecy it was not aware of that's the same way god operates he's called the father of spirits he can summon any spirit and give them instructions on your behalf so men don't know why they are just thinking about you and they say the lord led me venga the lord led me to show you ten thousand another person said ten thousand people say you are lucky no you are not lucky there is a spiritual climate responsible for that result this year force yourself to get it i must step into that climate that compels men i returned into this city i think two days ago as i was stepping in not even many people knew that i i, I think aside from the protocol not many people knew that i was around as soon as i arrived it was like a force that started compelling people apostle sir are you around i have a little gift for you 
Someone brought hamper. Someone brought this. And I said, this thing works. It's not about announcing. Oh, 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 oh. hands on your head in one minute and prophesy and say i'm breaking the back of poverty this year please pray i sensed an anointing that's why i was telling us to pray lay your hands on your head and prophesy it's a year of multiplied grace multiplied grace influenced by the spirit access to uncommon resources those outside make sure you are praying i will wipe the tears of my family this year what they could not do i'm about to arise god who had commanded light to shine out of darkness light to shine out of obscurity. Hallelujah. Psalm one one two, please, very quickly. Psalm one one two. Psalm 112. Four areas I want you to focus on. Under finances. One is your tithing. Please be determined this year. That you are going to be serious. Discipline yourself. Don't think it's a gimmick by men of God. Don't listen to those nonsense that newspapers carry around. Castigating men of God. Yes, I know that there are people who are driven whose God is their belly. But please, the mere existence of error does not mean you throw the baby and the bad water together. Don't stand. The Bible says, blessed is the man who does not walk in the, the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful. He said, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. He said, praise ye the Lord. Blessed is the man that fears the Lord, that delights greatly in his commands. Verse 2. Let's hurry up, media help us. His seed shall be mighty. That's influence upon the earth. He says the generation of the upright shall be blessed. Verse 3. I'd like you to read it and take it as a prophecy for your life. One to go. He says wealth and riches shall be in his house and his righteousness endure it forever. Wealth and riches. Wealth and riches. Wealth and riches. Wealth and riches shall be in his house. Like the ark of God came upon the house of Oben Edom and he began to prosper. Within three months, Oben Edom's life changed just because the ark came upon his house. Your worship offerings don't come to the house of God empty handed. See, let me tell you. Let me tell you why many of us seem to be stranded in terms of having an offering to give or a worship offering. Because you are not a sower. The Bible says God gives seed to the sower. If you say, oh God, please, I don't want to come to your house just like that. Believe me, God gives seed to the sower. But you think when you hold that money, you are coming to give a man of God to enrich the man. I've told you, any man that truly fears God does not live off the resources of his members. He lives off his obedience to kingdom principles. It's a terrible thing to depend on your members to bless you. You are tied to their mood swings. The day they are ready to bless you. No. 
let me trust God for myself and believe in him as Jehovah Jireh your seats of honor I've shown you the mystery of sowing upwards look at me when you sow downwards you walk in divine health are you hearing what I'm saying you don't sow downward to step into prosperity you sow downwards to create a track record that will speak for you in the day of obscurity but when you want to step into a level you sow upwards you must learn this don't sow carelessly don't just look around you are not a habali say go and see beggars on the street and give five beggars money and your life will change please we are not practicing shamanism this is christianity are we together you must learn god's principles seeds of honor find people that carry graces and levels that you desire so in, we call it sowing into an anointing you are sowing into an anointing and it authorizes you to step into that possibility learn this learn this learn to sow into anointings that will lift you into that level you must practice this consistently this year finally kingdom building i call it kingdom investment bishop oyedeko used to shout this and say it with all his heart kenneth copeland would shout this again listen i'm telling you when you commit yourself to kingdom projects it will amaze you how god will step into your life how god will step into your life kingdom building is to find a need in the house of god and participate actively in meeting that need i want to encourage you this year that you must commit yourself find needs in the body of christ workers your departments someone can sit down and say ah koinonia needs a work clock three of us let's come together and buy for the house not joshua selman and you commit and God is watching you and you authorize increase in your life the Bible says there is he that scattereth and yet increaseth." he said there is he that withholdeth more than his meat I want to ask you a question did the body of Christ benefit from your resources last year that that may explain why you are where you are financially may God never give me any money that his house will not benefit in I say it again may it never come to me any money that comes into my life that the house of God cannot benefit in is a cost to me I'm sharing with you very deep secrets that can open your heavens there are times that people bring seeds all kinds of seeds and while I'm excited God says uh -uh, this seed is for the house of God quietly with Jesus joy not grudgingly saying God said you God is faithful was it yesterday or day before yesterday I was rejoicing someone sent the seed into my account I was smiling and the Lord told me internet transfer straight this ministry that ministry God you are faithful you won't destroy me if I die I die in your hands Off it goes. let your finances be so flexible like Dr. Mike Mudok who said that God can do business with you. I was discussing with a prof last year, one, one of our daddies in area A, and he spoke to me. He said, son, tell the Lord you want to be his treasurer. Ah, that's, that statement resonated in my head. That man sat me down and started discussing with me his work with God from childhood and how God had been faithful in his life and in his old age he said ask the Lord that he should make you his treasurer do you know what it means for God to make you his treasurer oh God make me your treasurer in 2016 can God trust you with heaven's resources do you have the flexibility to release it when he makes demands it's my own it's my money i worked for it it's my sweat no but thou shall remember the lord your god because you can forget thou shall remember the lord your god he said for it is he that giveth thee power please give your way out of poverty this year 
sow your way out of poverty this year number five this is the last one and we'll pray relationships I want you to pay attention to this especially those outside please pay very close attention to what I'm saying I want you to invest this year invest in godly and healthy relationships do you know the reason why doors never open for many of us we don't have helpers in our lives there's nobody you have honored enough to remember you in the days of adversity there are people who don't have money but they never lack there is always someone they can cry to they are not somebody who remembers them in the days of pain listen money is not everything are you hearing what i'm saying believe me money is very important but money is not everything educate yourself enough to know that money does not do everything hallelujah went to the bank today with the protocol to collect my 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 atm my card had expired and i was going to collect it and one two one two I'm sure maybe one or two of them may even be here one two one two they just made things happen for us and within minutes we're out of that place the power of relationships relationships will give you what money cannot give you relationship will give you hectares of land that you don't have money to get are you hearing what i'm saying relationship will give you things there are people today who can stay in somebody's rented apartment and never pay because of relationship if you have to pay for everything in life is dangerous it will kill you relationships the key to relationship is honor and friendliness when you make people feel like idiots around you you will pay for it in the days to come are we together all that big man is him i'm a big man i'm this and that no you must learn to relate hallelujah ada is here many of you may not know him they were part of what aaron calls first second generation ENI. that's him there he came around this guy used to wash my clothes cook for me he did this almost every day that was his work oh. believe me when i tell you this it was marriage until he got married and he left do you think i'll ever forget him i would drop my last penny to see that he smiles he's called blessed by association how many of you remember that teaching he and i those days blessed by association i taught on the mystery on how people can enjoy the sweat of others because they have learned to connect the bible says god told abraham to go out. he said and lot went with him just by going with abraham he was implicated be blessed it's called blessed by association who do you know today that can speak for you in high places don't say it does not matter i learned this from my dad my dad has mastered the art of keeping relationships he knows almost everybody somewhere if it's military there must be a soldier that is his friend police there must be somebody that's a powerful life they take you to police station there's somebody who can advocate for you not to leave you to die there you are going to the court there is somebody who can speak for you i pray for you may god raise people this year that in any area there will be voices that will speak for you listen we suffer needlessly in life because we have money but we do not have voices that speak for us there's a business proposal there are five of you having it you have all the qualifications but you neglected relationships somebody you used to know who can now speak for you you are anointed but you ignored it because we pastors told you it's not important just pray and serve god no connect with people you don't connect with people because they are perfect connect with them now before it becomes every day makes it more expensive to connect connect and have a testimony that you drank gary together right and you will be able to partake of their bounty destiny help us you must look for these people and pray them into your life 
remember the bible talk, talks to us about naaman we talk a lot about naaman but we forget the little maid who encouraged him you know it was a little slave girl she said there is a prophet please talk to the king to allow you she persuaded him and he went to elisha elisha said go and bath and he was angry he said are there no other beautiful pools and the lady begged him when she pleaded with him he went to bath and his destiny changed connect with people don't ignore people this year and say this one cannot speak english we are the committee of beautiful girls we are the committee of of those who have we found we are the handsome guys we are the ones who are this we are the ones who are intelligent we are the ones who work in banks we are the business moguls that spirit cast it out this year in the mighty name of jesus christ learn to connect with people you don't know who is who this world is a very small world very very small world i've gone to places and i've been amazed at people who i used to know and how they have been of tremendous help You go somewhere and you are supposed to struggle and go through certain things and they facilitate it for you. When my international passport expired, one of our, he's a general, he's a, a, a chairman board of, of trustees, he went to, you know, just with his influence. I mean, this is a general now. This man drove me in his car by himself with army uniform and I came out. People thought I was a general son. I was just smiling. <laughs> oh, this year may you hang on somebody's success and smile through it. It mustn't always be your own. You can smile your way through relationships. If they say, yes, you are just a parasite. No problem. At least I'm moving forward. And he went there. When the woman saw the way he was running around, he just told me, sit down. I was embarrassed, frankly. He was running around, doing everything. And um, within 30 minutes, my passport was, uh, was ready. Something they Anyway, follow the protocol. Life is in stages. Don't go and force people in passport office and they throw you out and jail you. But the point is, the woman looked at him and I prayed with her. Then, I think it was last year or year before last, we went to minister in uh, the Nigerian immigration, the, the immigration service in, in Abuja, their chapel. We now went to minister there and after I was done, I was greeting the people. Guess who I saw? That madam. She had been shifted. I looked at her. And I said, ah, mommy, how are you? She was greeting me. She said, oh, I knew there was something about you. And I connected. I greeted her so well. So that if my passport expires again, <laughs> learn how to maintain relationships. See, listen. Please, we are, we are, we are praying now. I'm teaching you secrets that will really put you on top. There are people who don't have money, but they will never cry. You won't see their tears. There is always somebody. There is always somebody. Hallelujah. What has been your outlook about relationships? People in the world know how to keep this relationship. Have you seen somebody go to drink? No money. Yet he goes to the beer parlor. He even invites an wife. Is it not this joint? Immediately he enters. Oh, God, lucky. How are you there now? And sits down. Give him 10 minutes. Somebody he knows will come in. And he says, bros, you know they and they just say Abba serve him and he would drink and argue about football and argue about everything add pepper soup to it belts and go back home no money but he had a capital called relationships hold the hands of your neighbor I won't harm you with words from my mouth I love you I need you to say it again one more time I won't harm you with words from my mouth. I love you. I need you to survive. May your life never be such that you will go in the midst of people who you used to know, but there is nobody to help you. May that never be your testimony in Jesus' name. Please invest in healthy relationships. I'm telling you this invest in people are the conduits for miracles somebody knows somebody who knows somebody who can wipe your tears it's amazing to see how close to are how close you are to your miracle 
if you can just know who leads you there learn how to walk and live with people that's the second point under relationships hold on mike just pause i want everybody to listen to what i want to say learn how to live and walk with people the bible says he who wants friends must first show himself friendly please you must learn how to live with people many of us are christians but we don't know how to live with people let me tell you what we want a friend is not somebody who is you are you hearing what i'm saying a friend may be somebody who has similar ideologies but it cannot be you there are many of us the only person who can relate with you is another you unfortunately it doesn't exist that you are a friend to people does not mean that they don't make mistakes it doesn't mean they are perfect in themselves there are many of us the lifespan of our friendship is three days you must fight with somebody and it's not necessarily an issue of demonic attack it's just wisdom you don't understand expect disappointment from friends i don't say expect it in a negative way i'm saying make room for it incorporate it as part expect betrayal expect anything and let it not surprise you when it happens god can bring the greatest gold in your life in an imperfect vessel if you know how to look beyond the flaws of men you will find treasures in them that will change your life i don't like this lady she's a jealous lady but she's intelligent and you need her intelligence why don't you ignore the jealousy are we together i don't like this man he's arrogant but he's anointed why don't you quietly let him ignore the arrogance and open up your destiny and go I don't like this woman she's too pompous but she has access to those you need please learn how to work with people i've taught us here but let me repeat for those who have come the highest psychological need of any man this is the key to friendship the lord taught me this the highest psychological need of any man alive is the need to feel loved to feel valued and to feel appreciated never forget this leaders incorporate this as you work with people pastors incorporate this the extent to which comes some the extent to which i make some feel loved and valued is the extent to which we become friends are we together that does not mean i cannot rebuke him that does not mean i cannot talk to him but that he knows fundamentally that even when i rebuke him i love him truly from my heart thank you sam are we together learn to make people feel comfortable around you don't fight people for sustaining ideologies that are different from you you are not a member of this church so don't come near me we are the group of this no we are not a member of this your belief is this you are from which church i don't believe in your pastor okay believe in the person relationships god taught me this i have seen it in my life there are few things I pay for in my life. I am telling you this. And it's not because I'm a man of God. There are few things. Those who walk close to me know. There are few things I pay for in this life. There is always somebody somewhere. And it's just a call away. Do you know how you can help people? Influence is all about connecting with people that gives you access to platforms. Platforms. There are places I minister today, I never, I never would be able to minister, but on the strength of healthy relationships. There are people God has brought into my life today who will die to see me do well. I mean die. They will give their lives literally to see me do well. Do you have such people in your life? If you don't have it, you are poor. If you don't have it, you are poor. Invest in God don't just be bragging around and making people feel bad and you are moving around and looking at, no 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 the person you reject today will rise up faster than you ever imagined and let me tell you something you can change the future but you cannot change history people have memories like elephants you do something wrong after 10 years they will haunt you 
they don't know whether you have been born again in that 10 years or you've rededicated your life to Christ. They just say and see this stupid girl. I remember her in Zara. Is she not the one? She's the one. And you are coming. You are born again. You are even a pastor now. Where a pastor's wife. But carelessness of the past will haunt you. And you will have to start explaining yourself. No, I've changed. I know I was bad before. Use the opportunity now. Little things like fighting over seats. To insulting people gossiping about people god is watching your destiny too is watching you must make sure you are friends to people everywhere i go i try to make the people feel honored i greet them have you learned something tonight relationships you want to see multiplied grace let there be multiplied relationships godly relationships you have to honor people you get up in the morning, you greet your roommates, good morning. Don't get up and say, see, if not for condition, I won't be in this state. You are not my mate at all. You are not even my younger brother. See, please, leave all those things. Don't use age to intimidate anybody. You get up, you greet. And you, when they greet you, you reciprocate. You don't sit down and say, uh -huh. how are you? Good morning. All this living your life to yourself. I cook my food by myself. I don't share with anybody. I go to the market by myself. You will leave destiny by yourself. And that's when you will know how painful it is to ignore people. You can have all the money but no access. Over three people called me today. Three people called me today to send names for jobs. I don't need it. Three people. I'm, I'm serious. Three people called me today and said, ah, there's, there are some federal government jobs that are opening. Do you have a few people? I said, ah, yes, so I have people. I said, okay, this one will give you one slot. This one, hurry up and do this. It's called influence. It's called influence. That's what politicians do. One letter can wipe your tears. This is how miracles happen. I'm teaching you wisdom. You see me dwelling on this point because many of us have ignored relationships ignored relationships there are certain people that come from other university campuses and other places they come here and i see them i mark their face sometimes when i go around their regions to minister as people are trying to see me I, I look at their face and i say i remember are you not the one that did this bought me what they say yes sir and i say no 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 let this guy come follow us to our hotel room access i see him looking at his friends i paid the price i came and now i have to go May God give you influence this year. Yeah. Access to people. Quality people. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Access to people. What you are looking for is in the hand of somebody. Don't look for that thing. Look for a relationship with him. You will have access to it. Does a wife, a, a good husband and a good wife, does the wife really have to say, sorry, do I have a share in your inheritance? All she did was what? He got married to her. And he also partakes of it. Stop looking for people's money. Look for relationships. That's why many of us never get blessed. You come to a rich man and you are eyeing, you just hear making a call, say, eh, okay, transfer 15. Add 5 to it. And you're like, ah, we are in the right place. Don't allow that attitude to cheat you this year. Listen. I do my possible best to build relationship with people above money. I have met millionaires. I have met billionaires. God is my witness. I've never opened my mouth to say, give me one naira. Not because I may not need it. You kill relationships unnecessarily when your motive is revealed to be wrong. So pay the price. It's not easy, but as much as it's within your power, focus on relationship not this there are people who come and meet a man of god they don't want relationship they just want anointing man of god i've heard of all the things you are doing and i need the same result and then they kneel down and raise one envelope they say i came with this as if I, you know you almost feel like telling them my brother please stand up and walk away because he would think something came upon him but nothing really happened it's just that sometimes when they disturb you you just do it so they will go but you and god know that nothing really happened relationship Elijah had the sons of the prophet but Elisha followed him and established a relationship finally how to walk in the prophetic world there are two laws I want you to never forget 
number one is the law of encounter it's changed my life i've taught us jeremiah 29 13 he says and ye will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart he says and ye shall seek me and find me is one powerful law that has worked in my life encounter is what births transformation when you encounter god when you encounter a dimension of him it will speak in your life please respect the law of encounter press for his presence press for his presence press for his presence allow people to run around and move around but stay i don't mind waiting i don't mind waiting i don't mind waiting on you lord I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. On you. Seek God with all your heart this year. Be, be addicted to his presence. Don't just do it as a koinonia thing. I told you God said tell them to give me time. When you give God time, he will reveal his glory in your life. Number two, the law of honor. This is the key for impartation. Honor. Honor. Let me talk for two minutes on honor. Hebrews 7 verse 7 says, And without contradiction, the lesser, listen, God has already designed his system. The lesser is blessed of the greater every dimension you want to enter is somebody's current experience if you know how to honor your way you will honor your way cheaply into anointings honor is so powerful it can bring the harvest of somebody into your life hallelujah i'm a product of many anointings i have mastered the law of honor you must learn this learn this honor your way into unbelievable dimensions of grace honor your way into people's lives honor your way into their anointings honor the house of god the bible says honor all men it says honor the king when you have that attitude of honor i'm telling you the sky will only be a starting point for you this year i've made up my mind to honor every grace i come across genuinely and truthfully that's why we provide buses it's a symbol of honor we spend a lot there but we will never stop because it's a seed of honor i don't know what graces you carry it's a privilege to be a preacher but it does not mean i am better than you there are people carrying graces here that i probably am praying for when i'm able to honor you by helping out to take you to your destination it's a seed of honor that will bring impartation is a big secret in this ministry you honor people first from your heart not just through money money is important but the the principal way of honor is to esteem a man and esteem the grace he carries truly both the person and the office he represents not just office the person and the office hallelujah we are going to pray there are many platforms that are available this year to bless us the koinonia services are there the school of ministry is there the forms will be out immediately during the announcement we will announce it right this night the forms will be out there are many platforms plunge into it don't be half-hearted you will be cheated if you are staying plunge yourself and see what god does in your Please rise up on your feet and let's pray please participate in the prayer because there is a prophecy that i want to release on us lift up your voice and thank the lord for this word supernatural grace multiplied grace multiplied grace multiplied grace
lift your voice inside and outside bless the lord almighty the god of the heavens and the earth bless him it's a good year for the body of christ it's a good year for the body of christ it's a good year for koinonia by the spirit of the living god Mando protocosco preta catele poco to presca de bala la bala la bala la bala la bala. Shekata prekata de poco ya la bala bala. Hallelujah. Just three prayer points quickly. Prayer point number one. I like you to pray and say, Lord, I receive your word and I will run with it this year. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lord, I receive it. I receive your word as a believer. I receive your word. Sheka bakata la poko soto preach. Mande kala cross kada bread na kaparia da bash. Are you praying, Koinonia? Lord, we receive your word. Shembre tos koto pra kata balada bash. But I know whom I have believed, and I am persuaded. I am persuaded that He is able. He is able. Papaka pros kata bala da bosh rekata te kapo sho pros ko paria da ba empre tos ko le pras kata ba lekata kata pros ko to bakaria da bala da ba empros ko tos ko pres ke le boko to ba ke pros se ke te ke le ba so to bakaria da bala da ba empros ke te le ko to pres ke li ba 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 Alleluia Alleluia Hallelujah. Prayer point number two. Lord, make me addicted to your presence this year. That I will seek you. I will seek your word. I will seek prayer. I will seek your presence. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Oh, shake it. Lord, I seek you this year like never before. Like never before. I seek you with all my heart, all my might, all my soul. Pray. Revival to my prayer life. Revival to my word study life. Give me encounter, so oh God. Supernatural visitations this year. Dreams, visions, encounters with the power of the Holy Ghost that will take me to a new dimension in the spirit. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Prayer point number three. Lord, this year will be a year of results. I must hold on to tangible evidences. Lift your voice. Results. This must be a year of results. Outside, are you praying? This must be a year of results. there must be proofs in my life there must be evidences in my life miracles signs wonders the demonstration of the power of God 
the demonstration of the word of God in my life in my ministry pray in my business in my education in my family there must be results in 2016 there must be results in the name of Jesus there must be results in the name of Jesus there must be results in the name of Jesus there must be results in the name of Jesus there must be results Hallelujah. The Bible says, Let your light shine before men that they may see it. When men see, there is a level of notable results. You can argue all kinds of things, but you can't argue results. It says that they may glorify your Father in heaven. The last prayer point. Listen, please, I want you to pray this with all your heart father connect me to influential relationships this year just pray what i'm asking you to pray lift your voice connect me to men of influence across different starter men who will allow me ride on their success Men who will allow me ride on their anointings. Men who will allow me ride on their influence. Men who will endorse me. Pray. Shekete koto sekete. Oh, send thou help to Zion, O great one. In the name of Jesus, send thou help to your people. Supernatural connections. That will give you in one day the labor of other people's lifetime man of influence in every mountain man of influence in the government man of influence in finance man of influence in the educational realm oh god that in every area raise men to stand for me raise men to speak for me raise men to advocate for me make my life easy this year pray make my life easy this year as i serve you let there be ease in my life i rise upon the influence of many I rise upon the strength of quality relationships on common access on common doors on common resources on common encounters Hallelujah. Please, when you go back, I'd like all of you to listen to two teachings. Activating, I mean, um, activating breakthroughs. The ministry of destiny help us. Listen to it again, no matter how many times you've listened to it. And then listen to activating seasons of greatness. Sit on that teaching and cry your heart unto God hallelujah i want to prophesy over your life please i want you to believe it believe it many of us ignore the power of prophecy to our detriment listen you don't god created provision you don't have to struggle your way by yourself there are people that have been put strategically to help you you can reject the help to your detriment there are people who have traveled far and near. There are whole families in this place. Travel distances and hours just to come. Some of you are within reach. Yet you will not open up your heart. 
don't let people come and receive their blessings and go back and you are there just make up your mind the bible said by a prophet the lord brought israel out of egypt he said by a prophet they were preserved it's not human worship There may be exaggerations here and there, but it does not. Prophecy is powerful. It can frame your reality. Please, I want you to believe it. Prophecy is very powerful. This is the crux of the meeting tonight because it will give you direction. Listen. Let me tell you how prophecy works. Look up. I know our time is gone, but let me just use one example. Come, anybody. Prophecy is like a charm. Listen. When it is spoken, it leaves as i'm speaking it's like a charm it comes upon you and creates an effect it makes things that should not have happened happen listen i told you the most superior the, of dimension of the prophetic is not the revelatory dimension the creative dimension of the prophetic is the most superior dimension the revelatory dimension is important it gives you direction and builds faith but the creative dimension is what is responsible for creating your reality. I prophesied as I was commanded. He said, and there was a sound. It's not like the sound was wrong. It was never there. Prophecy called it. Prophecy calls things that be not as though they are. Lift your hands as I speak over your life. Father, let there be results in the name of Jesus. In the name that is above all names, I speak unto you. An unusual anointing that will step you into encounters with the Holy Ghost. Receive it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Name of Jesus Christ. Listen. A dimension of unction that you have never functioned in in the name that is above all names I prophesy that this year you will ride upon a river an unction that will take you to superior levels in the spirit oh I command it to be so in the spirit I command it to be so in the spirit I pray for you the mark of favor that can come upon a man and produce uncommon access in the name that is above all names may that mark come upon your life right now i prophesy to you may that mark come upon your life right now may that mark come upon your life right now listen honor is an anointing there is an anointing that can come upon a man and make him honorable. He says, and Jabez was more honorable. That anointing that makes men honorable, I release it upon you right now. Or oh, in 2016, receive that anointing for honor, uncommon honor. God will position men to celebrate your grace. They will appreciate you. They will sow into your grace. I pray for you this year. May the spirit of revelation, illumination and insight into the mysteries and the oppression of the kingdom, I release it upon you right now. Oh, eyes to see, eyes to see. I release it upon you. Uncommon dimension of access to spiritual realities. I release it upon you like a mantle in the name of the Lord Jesus. My goodness, there are strange impartations strong impartations that are happening to people
by the anointing of the Holy Ghost by the anointing of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus I release impartations of this unction the spirit of revelation strange levels of access in the spirit I open to you fountains fountains of light in the spirit I open you up to mysteries I open you up to mysteries in the name of Jesus I open you up to mysteries strange operation of mysteries hallelujah hear me every person who you must connect to to rise wherever they are is called a year of multiplied influence i'm prophesying to you please believe me from the north to the south the east and the west every anointing every grace you must connect to to rise I release access to you in the name of Jesus access to people access to anointings access to opportunities in the name of Jesus oh connect with influential people I release that anointing upon you receive it connect to influential people receive it right now influence influence I stand upon this apostolic office and I prophesy supernatural influence connect to people in government connect to people everywhere in the name of Jesus they will listen to you when you speak they will rise up to help you rise up for you give thanks God is ministering to you to the whole Give thanks because he's given Jesus Christ his son. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because he's given. Jesus Christ Sing it with faith in your heart And now Let the weak say I am strong And let the poor say I am rich Because of what challenging you to make decisions that will keep you consistent number one avoid complaint nothing slows down consistency nothing produces inconsistency as a life full of bitterness and complaint and grumbling let me tell you something murmuring is sin murmuring is not just wrong write it down murmuring is sin you find out from scripture how people perished for murmuring the bible says they limited the holy one by murmuring complaining lord you should have done this lord you should have done this and uh -uh, make a decision under god advise yourself that I need to be consistent and I will never find myself murmuring and complaining again that does not mean everything will be a bed of roses I tell you challenges will come but you must make up your mind make up your mind that you will not murmur number two thanksgiving I told us that's the second decision that will make you consistent in life thanksgiving whether you have a reason to be thankful or not, find a reason. One of our dear ladies in Lagos, 
We were at their house yesterday to visit with the family. And um, I think I've shared the story. She may even be following online right now. This lady about three years ago, during her birthday, her friends just poured, um, I can't remember what they poured now, caustic soda. And the lady became blind. On her birthday, her friends, careless friends rejoicing without sense, poured caustic soda. And now the lady for three, four years now is blind. But let me tell you, I've not seen a human being happier than that lady till yesterday. I promised her that the next time we were in Lagos, we would visit her. We were so tired yesterday, but I made up my mind to visit with the family. And when we got there, she was blind. When she felt my hands, she was shouting, ah, Apostle, she was so happy. They were the first people to give me a birthday gift. Lovely father, lovely mother, lovely everyone. And the lady was so happy, joyful. Never for once did she tell me, Apostle, but will my eyes open? It seemed as though it was not even her business. She was talking to me that she was going abroad because she was in 300 level when she went blind. So nothing for schooling again. She was saying, Apostle, I want to go abroad and study psychology and counseling. And we're laughing. That's a blind person. A blind lady who would have planned to be married maybe by now. Supposedly her destiny shattered. Is it not when your eyes is open that you can see money to collect? Very happy lady. She challenged me sincerely. I thought about that experience even while we came today. I said, my goodness. That means... Your circumstances do not have to determine the extent of your joy, your gratitude. You can choose to respond instead of reacting. Oh, this is unfavorable, but God is still faithful. And Lord, I thank you. Everybody say, thank you, Jesus. Say it from the depth of your heart. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. When you thank God, you frustrate Satan. Thank you, Jesus. I thought my, my pension will come. It's five years now. But I thank you. You are still faithful. I thought we'll be able to complete the house in 2014. But till now, we've not even lifted it to lintel level. But I thank you that I have a land. I may not have a structure on it. In one minute, can you find everything God has done in your life and tell him thank you? Forget about what he has not done. If you do not have anything, you are a liar. Go ahead, mention them. Go ahead and mention them. Lord, you are faithful. Oh, thank you, Jesus, for life, for strength, for health. Tell him thank you. I may not have a house, but I am sane enough to even think of sleeping. Are you grateful, Koinonia? Those outside, for some of you, this is your miracle. As you are thanking God, you will find out that that sickness is no more there. It responds to gratitude. Lord, I may not have money, but thank you, I have an account. That is ready to receive your favor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Decision number three. That will help you become consistent and persistent. Is to walk in love. Walk in love. Let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. Once there is no love in your heart, you just punctured the tank of your destiny. Get set for an empty tank. The moment there is no love, it's better that you do not have faith. It's better that you do not have faith, I guarantee you. When all else fail in your life, make sure your love does not fail. Love. The antidote to offense. You will find men and women who will be sarcastic. 
they will say things. Ah, are you aware that that woman is barren? In case they've not told you, know it now. It's been eight years. All the children you see in her house are adopted. When you hear such a news, it can break your spirit. What if your own friends let you down? What if those you trust, you committed secrets to them about your life and they dashed it on the floor? Let me tell you something. The Bible says, blessed are you when you are not offended. There are a thousand and one reasons to be offended. Believe me when I tell you I have no offense in my life. There is no man on earth that is in any blacklist. I don't even have it. I'm a happy person. Every list is white. Vision and fulfillment. No blacklist. Now, as a leader, you can imagine how people treat you every day. From waking up to all kinds of things. On the road, someone wants to jam you. And then he's insulting you again. And you now turn and tell him, your father or your mother. Or whatever it is that you want to use. And then you quickly remember that, ah, there's miracle service today. Now, Are we together? People can be so foolish, they can annoy you. People can be so careless, they can annoy you. Your loved ones can be so insensitive. But you must make up your mind today that you will walk in love. Walk in love and watch how cheap Satan is. Watch how the mountains before you will melt like wax. It says love never fails. Everybody repeat it after me. In Nigeria, where we are looking for insurance and guarantee, I give you one. Are we together? Many insurance companies will come and say, come and work with us. Do business with us. We are 150 years old. We can insure you. We can insure your life and your car. I found something in life that does not fail. Greater than potentials. Love. Never. Not love can fail and then readjust itself. Love never fails. I give you the fail proof. The fail proof key to living. Walk in love. Genuinely and passionately make room for love in your heart towards people you don't like, towards people who insult you. Make up your mind that forever the love of God has consumed me. And you will see how the anointing will multiply in your life. You will see how God will. Let me tell you, I have used this in my life. God has used love to turn mountains. What my faith could not do, my love did for me. Forever I am changed by your love. In the presence of your majesty. Sing majesty. Majesty. Sing majesty. Majesty. Forever we are changed. Forever we are changed by your love. We're in, in the, the presence, presence of your majesty. I'd like you to pray for yourself in one minute and say, Lord, take away bitterness from my heart. That 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 spirit of bitterness and anger that rejoices when I'm afflicting pain at others. Oh, apostle, you don't know what they did to me. I don't care. I don't care what happened to you. Walking in love is a choice. Walking in love is a choice. Hear me, I'm speaking to you by the Spirit. You can choose to walk in love. I will never forget, forgive that woman till Jesus comes. Then you are not ready to see the power of God in your life. The third decision that can make you consistent is to walk in love. Anytime, every time, at all times. 
Hallelujah. Never allow yourself be a victim of communicating lack of love. I hate this person. Are you aware that I hate Pastor Alpha? Are you aware that I hate Mama? I'm just keeping quiet. The day his cup will be full. See, let me tell you, those who talk like that never go far. Don't you ever think you will compromise on the law of love and get miracles. Only herbalists give miracles without love. The, the initiator of miracle is love. He was moved with compassion. He saw them as sheep without shepherd. Although they were insulting him, he said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. Love. Love. The last decision that will help you become consistent. Are you ready? Is vision. Vision. The Bible says without vision the people perish. The word perish was not accurately translated. The word there is to cast off restraint. In other words, to veer off from a path. Vision. And nothing keeps vision like the memory of the prophecy that backs it. Nothing keeps vision like the memory of the prophetic word that came with that vision. I may not remember what I said, but God told me. I remember. God told me I would build that house. I remember what he told me in 200 level. That I will be a PhD holder. God told me. Prophecy is powerful. It keeps men consistent. The moment you are about to gas out. A prophetic word comes. And God says what did I tell you before you got married? Did I not tell you after four years I will lift you? You are just in the third year. Don't give up. My word still stands. And it supplies strength. And you can fire on. What did I tell you before you would start that business? I told you that I will lift you. And so you stand. Many of us forget the prophetic words upon our lives. We trivialize it. Now I know that we live in a generation where everybody is a prophet. Somebody just sees you and says something that is not worth remembering. But I tell you when you hear something that is of God... There are things God has spoken about in my life. I even forgot them. When they happened, I went back. I had to go back and check my notes. And said, my God, you said this. You said this. The first time God spoke to me about Koinonia was 2005. I wrote it down, but I didn't pay attention. So when God spoke to me about starting it, I think it was last year or so. I was going through all of my notes during my retreat and I saw it there. I said, my goodness. When God speaks, hear me, he is worth believing. Whether you have any evidence or not, just believe him foolishly. God, you said by December I will own a house. This is June. There is no land available. I have 5,000 in my account home and abroad. And God says, so what? I never told you you will buy the house. I said you will have a house. There are many ways to have a house. It can be given. Someone can lack his sleep and God says, this is the man to bless. You know, many of us don't believe God can move in these dimensions. I believe him. Absolutely. I believe him. Are we together? I believe God with all my heart because I know he is faithful. There are things he has said to us as a ministry. There are things he has said to me as a person. I have watched one by one. One by one. And there are many more that will come to pass. I want to ask you a question. What has God said concerning your life? What prophecy has come upon you? As a family of faith, God declared unto us that this is our year of what? Multiplied grace and influence. God saw fuel crisis when he made that statement. God saw the dollar nose diving, the naira nose diving when he made that statement. It's up to you to remain consistent or join those who are making noise and perish with them. 
God's obsession is to be trusted. He wants to be trusted. Are we together? If he said it, I believe it. If it does not work, at least I won't die. But I know that I believe him. Do you believe God? Let me tell you something. There is nothing God will tell you that looks possible. If God tells you something that looks possible, you didn't hear him. Because God speaks from his realm. He will never tell you what is possible. Your brain and your job can tell you, save to 200,000. In five months, you have one million. Go and buy Toyota Camry. That's your brain. But God says, I will give you the treasures of darkness. And he said, God, how? The how is none of your business. Here's how the Bible puts it. He said, just as you do not know the way of the wind, nor how bones are formed in the womb of her that is with child, so also you do not know the way of the Lord. God walks in mysterious ways. Are we together? Somebody called me. He's getting married next month. And he said they did the budget. They, they updated it and it was 2.7. I said, how much do you have? And he said he has 40,000. And I said, don't, don't laugh. I'm, uh, listen, he's not an irresponsible person. I can tell you this. It's just that he, he's in a situation right now and he needs a miracle. And he said, man of God, will this thing come to pass? I said, you even have 40,000 and you are complaining. Ask those who had only five loaf and two fish and were about to feed 5,000 people immediately. Time was not given immediately five loaf i love jesus what a man that inspires me five loaf and two fishes and he said ask them to sit down if you don't believe god enough to sit down no bread for you you have to you have to prove that you sitting down means be at rest because your standing is let me watch in case it doesn't happen let me quickly dodge and god says i don't walk like that you must be still then you will know that I am God. You can't be busy and say, Lord, be proving it while I wage my faith because I'm used to you disappointing me. No. Ah, I love Esther. If I perish, I perish. Are there such people this night? Men who will believe God. I'm motivating you and speaking over your life to continue and be consistent. Who told you it will never come to pass? The person who is laughing at you is also on earth trying to figure out his own life. What confidence do they have? It's like two people, you are writing exams and the person is laughing and saying you are sweating, Abby. Whereas he's writing the same exam. Is he not foolish? I'm speaking to somebody here by the spirit of the living God. That the Egyptians you see today that have mocked you, Kabakasuta Pratika Pariata. The Egyptians you see today, you are not the first to see Egyptians. This man standing before you lives with Egyptians. It's not that I saw them. There, there, there is a level you get to as a leader. You don't conquer challenges, you walk through them. They are they become your companions. <laughs> Ah, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, he says, I fear no evil. He says, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Then he says this, thou prepare. You are not in a hurry, you are taking your time to prepare a table for me in the presence of my enemies. We are going to pray. God is ministering to us. Please, I want to challenge somebody. Go back and hold that thing you were doing and continue. I don't know who asked you to stop that business. I know what stopped you. Pain stopped you. You opened the shop and everything dried. Go and open it again. Let them laugh at you. Go and open it. When you succeed, they will bite their words again. Are we together? Yeah. Don't mind Nigerians. And their sarcastic way of laughing people out of destiny. 
That's why only few people ever succeed. Are we together? The Lord is asking me to prophesy to someone here that you should go back to what he asked you to do. God asks you to put your hand on that plow. I'm speaking specifically concerning work and career and business. There are people God directed to certain things but because of your pain and failure you are saying look I'm, I, I want to follow the path of least resistance. That's the path of failures. Are we together? Yeah. Never allow pain stop you from being consistent. Never allow the mockery of people. While they were mocking Noah, he was busy building the ark. While they were mocking him, after 90 years he continued. 100 years he continued. After 120 years, God said, Noah, get into the ark. I'm about to send the rain as I said. God told you this year you will hold your first million and you are saying God this is June this is June and God says don't insult me I am more than able to wipe your tears it's up to you to believe God oh this year you will get married God as I'm speaking to you right now there is no man in my life the last man who came came as as careless as he came, that's how he went. And God says, it doesn't matter. How long does it take to settle you? Let me tell you, it doesn't take time to marry. It just takes vision and finances. Once there is no money, you shift dates. When God brings his blessings, he brings every resource to make it happen. Are we together? Yeah. God said you will be gainfully employed this year. It's June. And the last place where you were holding on to air force just came out day before yesterday your name is not there are we together the person who would help you just called and said look young man um i thought we'll be able to fix you up at shell or chevron but i'm sad to announce to you even us we are standing to maintain our position and then you will know that by the arm of flesh shall no man prevail that's the time to hand over to God. I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. It is well with me. It is well with me. I believe. Yes, Lord. One more time, Lord, I believe. I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. It is well with me. We are going to pray. He reigns. He reigns. He is standing by my side to bring his word to pass. He reigns. Our God is an awesome God. Rise up on your feet. He reigns, he reigns, he reigns. He reigns. Now, you 
voice and say, Lord, I challenge unbelief. I'm a believer. You are not a liar. When you speak, you bring your word to pass. Are you praying inside and outside? I believe you. 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 Go ahead and say, Lord, I believe you. You are not a man that you should lie. You are not the son of man that you should repent. I hold on to prophecy. I hold on to prophecy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'd like you to open your mouth and cry before God. Tell him what must happen in your life this night. What you are tired of that must leave you today. Not tomorrow. Lift your voice and pray. Don't be a doubter. The power of God is able to touch you and change your situation. You've had the testimonies of others. Pray, pray. Is part of the meeting. Tonight, I hold on to the four horns of the altar. Don't stop, you are praying. The Lord will do a quick walk here tonight. change my story oh God change that genotype oh God open up that womb oh God unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come Lord, you are welcome in this place. Lord, you are welcome. Lord, you are welcome in this place. Have your way. Heal and deliver in this place. Heal and deliver. Yeah.
send your anointing in this place. Send your anointing in this place. Send your Hallelujah. Please lift your hands, everybody. Tonight will be an extraordinary night. It will be very fast what the Lord will do. Very fast. The message is what you have received. Very fast. I like you to expect miracles. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please, no instruments. Stop. Just lift your hands. Just lift your hands. That's the instruction God is giving me. Lift your hands, everybody. I want to pray. I want to pray, and I'm hearing the word breakthrough. That's the first thing I'm praying for. Listen, please. The moment I begin to pray that prayer of breakthrough, I want you to bring everyone under the anointing for that word. For some of you to surprise you the way the power of God will come upon you. I tell you, the moment the power of God touches you, know that this prophecy is for you. I hear the word breakthrough. Breakthrough. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I don't know where they are. Right now. I stretch my hands across the length and breadth of this congregation right now everyone under the influence of this prophetic word right now right now right now the first overflow outside right now right now right now breakthrough there is an angel of the lord identifying men breakthrough bring them in breakthrough it's time for you to step into levels of breakthrough 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 i prophesied as i mentioned that word the grace the anointing is visiting you that stumbling block leaves you now breakthrough 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 angels of breakthrough i release them across this congregation right now in all the overflows the thousands following us online breakthrough the power of god is touching you right where you are right now Right where you are, breakthrough. Shaba katala katia. Mande brake si kataya. The Lord will do a quick walk tonight. A quick walk tonight. He's touching you without delay, without delay. If it's your case, God visits you at once. If it's your case, God visits you at once. Ha shaba karatu kasia. Breakthrough. Breakthrough. That's what I hear in my spirit. There are still others. There are still others. I see another wave of anointing coming. Breakthroughs. Breakthroughs. That's what God is bringing right now. We'll be very fast tonight. Our time is gone. I tell you, there is enough anointing for anything you want. It's going to be a fast word. The Lord told me once, I mentioned the case. His power moves. I hear delay in my spirit. Get ready. Keep playing, Mike. Be sensitive, please. The strings. Right now, everyone under the influence of the spirit of delay. Delay. Just for delay. Right now. Right now, like a string cut from you. Right now, like a string cut from you, inside and outside, I command that spirit to leave. Delay, delay, delay. Any destiny here under the influence of delay, you can't stand it. You can't stand it. It's the anointing of the Holy Ghost destroying delay. That embargo of delay, you are caused by the God of heaven. Caused by the God of heaven caused by the God of heaven Shabakatalapatia rekete ketele bokosuba 
the spirit of delay I curse you over God's people this is a miracle service delay that has kept you down that has kept you down that has kept your family down hallelujah lift your hands everybody the Lord wants to visit families the second overflow outside I see the Lord touching men as I begin to pray right now every family under any embargo at the count of three fire falls on you now one two three take that fire take that fire take that fire take that fire inside outside embargoes over families embargoes over families take that fire take that fire take that fire by the message of the God of heaven take that fire take that fire take that fire is coming on you like rain like the dew of heaven take that fire hallelujah hallelujah I don't know who this mama is but madam an angel of the Lord is touching you right now as I'm speaking to you fire is coming upon you an angel of the Lord right now right now right now right now Oh God, once again confirm this call and anointing. Hallelujah. 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 I'm seeing several gates opening. Hear me. And the Lord said, this is the womb of many people. Please, I want to pray for you right now. The Lord is opening barren wombs. That's what God is showing me. Whether miscarriage or no children completely, I don't care what it is. Lift your hands for you and for your loved ones. Lord, in the name of Jesus, let the power to perform be released right now. Every barren womb for you and your loved ones. I open it right now, right now, right now, right now. I open every barren womb. I open every barren womb. Right now, every barren womb. Be open. Be open. Be open. Barren wombs. Be open. Barren wombs. Be open. Kapatalaka. Zeketeketere Boshia. Barren wombs. Be open. Barren wombs. Be open. Be open. Will you open up the gates? The gates. Open up the doors. I command every closed door over your destiny. Open up the gates. The gates. Open up the doors. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Shout it in the name of Jesus. Every gate and every door over my destiny be open right now. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Be open. There is an anointing to open it. Every gate, every door, kaparakata, kepere shopa. Fire is burning in this place. I command gates. I command doors. Be open now. I command gates. I command doors. Be open now. I command gates. I command doors. Be open now.
Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Every chain tying my life stopping me from making progress in the name of Jesus. Chains be broken. Open your mouth and pray. I break that chain. I break that chain. Kabataya. It's time to move forward by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Chains. Shakata bakata leke teke te reke teke teke te be de bosh e preke te koto soto koto makata ba 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, everybody. I want to challenge powers. I tell you there are spirits that sit on the destinies of people. I believe that the prayer I'm about to pray for you right now will challenge this spirit. Hear me. There are men, there are women under the influence of strange spirits. That's right. That will stop them from advancing. But right now, at the count of three, everywhere in all the overflows, Father, I pray, once again, validate this anointing. Once again, validate this apostolic and prophetic call. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. And I command every spirit to leave. One, two, three. Right now, right now, every power, Every spirit, every power, every spirit out of them now, out of their destiny now. Strange spirits, strange spirits like fire, it comes upon you. The refiner's fire setting men free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. Lift your hands. I tell you, I feel this thing on me right now. Ah! I want to pray for you. Watch this. The Lord is showing me a vision. And this is what I see. I see stones and I see fire falling on it. And the Lord says, these are the altars that have kept destinies down. Hear me, if you belong to this category, physical fire, physical fire will come on you. That devil must give way. Right now, I stand upon this apostolic call. I stand upon this prophetic call. Right now, fire, fire, fire on every devil. Fire on every spirit. Fire on every altar. Let it burn, let it burn, let it burn. Let it burn, let it burn, let it burn. Let it burn every altar. Let it burn every altar. Release God's people. Release God's people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm prophesying. I see the Lord giving certain men direction. That direction will come like an anointing. You are asking God, what should I do? Where should I go? Right now, where are they, oh God? The power of God is coming on them. That's direction. You are receiving direction right now. Wherever you are, direction is coming. Direction is coming. Direction is coming. Confusion is ending. Direction on ministry. Direction on career. Direction on marriage. It comes to you right now. Right now. By the anointing, direction is coming. 
direction is coming direction is coming direction is coming hallelujah hallelujah the lord is giving me an instruction that we should pray in the spirit for five minutes intensely just do what i'm asking you to do something will happen to you go ahead blast in tongues for the next five minutes Come on, pray. Fire is burning. Fire is burning. I tell you, pray in the spirit. Fire is burning. Hallelujah. 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 Who is Regina? Regina. I hear a name Regina. Regina. Fire is burning in this place. The Lord is going to do a quick walk. Quick walk. Mighty walk. No power will stand tonight. No power will stand tonight. I command every power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. Listen to me. You know, bad days are times when unusual requests are granted. It was during Herod's birthday that the head of a prophet went. Are we together? The best way to celebrate your birthday is to dethrone principalities and powers. Every spirit represented here, I'm saying it again right now, no matter where you are hiding, I stand under this apostolic and prophetic anointing. If I be called and sent of God right now at the count of three on your mark, get set. Go, 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 go. Out you go. Out you go. Pack your load. Pack your failure out of their destinies. Hallelujah. Regina. You are Regina, ma. Please come. Come on. I have to pray for you. I'm looking at you, ma. And I'm seeing the spirit of death upon you. Don't, don't, I'm not, I'm not a prophet of doom. I look at you. And I'm looking at a corpse. Like somebody that has died. I'm seeing what they call it um, um, cotton wool in the nose and the ears as I'm looking at you physically and the Lord is saying it's time for your miracle I don't know what is wrong with you come walk to me man hold my hands right now I command that spirit your time is over right now out right now be gone now be gone right now out, out, out by the power of the Holy Ghost. It's time for this woman's deliverance. Who brought her? Who brought this madam? What's wrong with her? Come, talk to me. Oh, cry.
chronic leg ulcer. Ah, I see it here. It's not healing. What is it? It's rotting or something. It's rotting. It's refusing to dry up. That devil. Madam, you feel pain on your legs? Pain on your legs. You believe God will heal you? A spirit just left you. That's what they call leg ulcer. And the reason, I don't know if they diagnosed you, but I'm looking at you and I'm not even seeing a woman healed of ulcer. I'm seeing a woman healed of diabetes. Huh? That's the cause of this thing. That's why it's not here. I'm not a doctor. I'm just telling you what the Holy Spirit is telling me. This thing is diabetes. And that's why this thing is not healing. Stand up. Walk. Carry her up. Oh God, help your mother now. Why are you watching? Madam, look at me. In the name of Jesus Christ. No, no, you don't have to lift it. I bring life to these legs. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Don't look at the legs. Move it. Move it. Go ahead. Don't be afraid. Just look at me. Move it. Go ahead. Move it. Move it. Walk. Come. Come to me. Come. Come. Lift it up. Lift it up. Lift it up. Lift it up. Look at this. Go ahead. Lift it up. Look at this. Look at a miracle happening to her. She's still under the power of the Holy Ghost. A miracle is happening to her. In the name of Jesus, lift it up. That devil goes. I command it to dry now. Not later. Right now. It dries up. Dries up by the power of the Holy Ghost. Give Jesus praise. Give Jesus praise. Lord Regina. Hallelujah. There is a lady from Kogi State. Right now, I don't know where she is, but you will locate her by a shout. I sincerely don't know what I'm saying. It's under the anointing of the Holy Spirit. There is bondage that has been for so long in your family. And God is saying today, you are, you are set free. From Kogi State, one lady. Fire will land on her wherever she is. Whether it, where is she from? Who knows her? Where is she from? Eh? Is she from Kogi State? Bring her out. It's time for the salvation of your family. I stretch my hands on you and I challenge every altar standing against your family. They must let you go right now. Right now. Release her. I stand by an anointing and I, I challenge you. You are living right now. The Lord of Sabaoth brings judgment upon you. In the name of Jesus. Right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Release her life right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 I don't know what God is doing with Kogi people. I'm hearing Okene, 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 Okene. Okene is a place in Kogi state. There is a visitation coming to that territory. Right now. People who belong from that territory. An anointing is coming right now. I'm not saying you should clap. I'm saying you should receive right now. I don't know where they are. But all those from Okene, I release an anointing right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Inside and outside. Strange visitations. God is bringing visitation to that territory right now. If you are from that place, that name is a code in the spirit. It locates you wherever you are. In the name of the Lord Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please, everyone, stretch your hands towards me. I see something. Hallelujah. Please hear me. Stretch your hands towards me. I see something like medals 
been given to people and the Lord is saying as this medal comes he's increasing the grace upon their lives like medals that's what I'm saying and the Lord said you should stretch your hands I release my hands back to you right now not everybody but there are people wherever they are rise 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 in the spirit rise in the spirit rise in the spirit hallelujah prayer HOD come and hold your hands of your assistant quickly Come and stand, two of you. Hold your hands and lift it up. A new grace. The gifts of the Spirit is coming on both of you right now. Strange gift. The Lord is saying it's the season for you to begin to walk in the gifts of the Spirit. The gifts of the Spirit. Lift your hands. I see gifts falling on people. Gifts falling on people. Gifts, 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 gifts. Gift right now. Gift. Help them, please. Help them. Gift. There are men of God receiving gifts. Men of God. Men in ministry receiving gifts right now. I activate it. I activate it. Kapatayada. I activate it right now. Right now. Gift. Gift. The prophetic. Gift. The prophetic. Gift. The prophetic. Eyes to see. Yes to hear, eyes to see, yes to hear. Kapa shakata, pati kata di kabaritos. Dera ba da ba si de ba la da ba la da 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 da. Job said, "There is a part which no eye has seen. The wealth of the lion has not gotten there." Hallelujah. I'm still praying for gifts again because I see it. Hear me. There are many people. You don't hear me pray this prayer, but I hear word of knowledge. There are people who need to step into the revelatory gifts of the Spirit. Wherever you are, I stand upon this anointing. Receive it right now. Revelatory gifts. Revelatory gifts. Revelatory gifts. Ay, 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 ay. Revelatory gifts. Kapatata. Rakatatata. Abarata. I stretch my hands. Step into that level. The word of knowledge. The gift of prophecy. The discerning of spirits. Ay, 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 Shabarada Jikete barada ba shabari da ba la da ba la da ba la da ba la da ba. Hallelujah. 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 I'm looking at a vision the Lord is showing me, and I'm seeing the exact color of my dress, and the Lord says it's a mantle of favor. Listen, it's going to mantle people right now as I speak. Please hear me. Lift your hands. Favor. It's a mantle. You can wear it like a garment. Father, I pray. There are people, this is the miracle you need. That mantle of favor. Across this building, the overflow, the next overflow online right now on everyone everyone under the sound of my voice may mantles of favor come upon you right now mantles of favor come upon you right now 
Lord on everyone let no one be left let no one be left wear it like a garment wear it like a garment wear it like a garment let it open strange doors for you hallelujah hallelujah our time is gone we have to be fast my goodness now listen before we pray for the sick there's no time to just pray and ask them to come and so we pray for the sick but before we do that if you have your prayer request lift it up this is very strange what the Lord shows me usually we bring it out and lay it here but the Lord is asking please if it's in a phone maybe your loved ones wrote it leave the phone up it's not we're not playing games please please don't come and waste your time there is a God that answers prayers my dear come you are Regina I have to pray for you because the Lord is telling me that he wants to end captivity in your family are you hearing what I'm saying there is a lot of suffering and pain in your family and the Lord is asking that I pray for you number one number two for you the Lord is saying I should tell you it stops I don't know what is that but the Lord is saying it stops from today it stops hold my hands father bring your word to pass in the life of this lady right now in the name of Jesus over your family I command that that pain that captivity comes to an end and for you the prophecy is that it stops I don't know what it is but I stop it right now right now right now right now right now it stops kaba shiba ratusia ende la rusa pras kubarita shubriata baladaba those online i know that there are hundreds of prayer requests no problem the media department is stretching it by faith those outside don't worry you will lift it before we submit it if there's something you should write and you've not written you will quickly write it before we pray but the Lord is just asking me to lift it up. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray on it. And the Lord says for us to hold it. And just pray in tongues for just a minute seriously and violently on your request are we together in one minute just speak over it are you not the God that answers prayers Lord when you speak it may look foolish when you speak it may look foolish but we choose to be foolish in obedience to your word pray answers are falling answers are falling from heaven just in one minute. Shabakata da 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 the Lord is going to open the eyes of many people here as I pray. And you will see the requests on fire. Physically. At least I see seven people having this experience. Physically, you will see fire. I'm not saying physical fire. I'm saying when the Lord opens your eyes, you will see it as though burning. That's what is going to happen. Father, you have given an instruction. We are foolish enough to obey you. Right now, upon this request... The fire that brings performance. Shakata bakata. Zike kerebo soto barata. Pari te shalianaka. Den da kaporo sopatiana baka. The fire that brings answers. Let it begin to follow God. On prayer requests right now. Let the fire that brings answers. Fall on them. Turning the requests into testimonies turning the request kabashikata ente karata 
there's authority in this place turning the requests into testimonies hallelujah now begin to forward them to the ushers please ushers quickly start collecting them while they are doing that please be careful with those in front some of them are under the anointing so don't match them you are here trusting God for healing specifically I want to lay my hands on you now make your way to the front you came with a sick person it's time to bring them to the front very quickly as we worship in your presence there is healing the Holy Spirit's gentle touch is flowing we believe I like you to believe the Lord as we worship in your presence there is healing let your faith be alive the power of God is already touching people it's flowing Jesus we hear me please listen I don't care what the name of that sickness is you must refuse and insist that plus your hair falling you must be healed are you hearing don't say this one is not serious uh -uh. when you are coming here insist and say Lord from my head to my toe I must be healed as we minister to you by the power of the Holy Ghost the anointing is already touching people. Some of you, we may not even need to come close to you. It's the power of God. While that is happening, I want everybody in the congregation, we are going to maintain an attitude of prayer. No carelessness and gisting around. Begin to speak to God concerning your prayer request. There are so many people who are proud to tell you this is a place of healing. In every city and in every territory, God must find a place where he can extend his healing power to his people. The Lord is showing me all kinds of infirmities. HIV, diabetes, tumor, breast lump, breast lump, a lot of breast lump. The Lord is going to heal you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jimmy, please come. We're going to pray. Listen, there is the anointing upon him. Come, Jimmy. There's fire upon my hands, and I want you to touch that anointing. Go ahead. That anointing. That's what the Lord says. I should tell you to touch my hands and touch that healing anointing, that healing power. Miracle worker. Ah, you are the miracle worker. Come and do a miracle. A miracle today. Come and do a miracle. A miracle today. Father, please heal everyone here. Everyone. And for those you are standing for, you have the photos of any everyone. Don't worry. While we are coming, just show the photos, whether it's phone or whatever. We will lay hands on it. Believe God. Please, no commotion. As we pray for you, just gently walk to your seat. Because of time, we don't take instant testimonies. Please forgive us. But make sure you are praying. Don't just stand looking at others carelessly. Let your heart be open. Thank you, Jesus. Go ahead. Help us. You made a way. Stretch your hands towards the prayer requests and begin to speak over them thank you Jesus go ahead those those being prayed for don't worry just focus we're praying for you but everyone pray on the request out right now stretch your hands on the request and pray I command the spirit of death to leave you right now please stretch your hands make sure you are talking to the Lord we are not just whiling away time you 
Prophesy and say, Lord, you will visit me, you will visit my request. Savior, you can move the mountains, my God. Thank you for your patience. 
It's called a miracle service. Please stretch your hands here. Yeah. Those still on the healing lines, don't worry, Jimmy will handle you. Please stretch your hands. Let's save time very quickly. Prophesy, we're not wasting time, please. I want you to understand the nature of the service and what we're doing. Outside, in any of the overflows, just stretch your hands and let's trust the God that heals. Go ahead and pray. Shabarako Subredika Shabriata. Are you praying? Prophesy. Lord, we declare the miracle walking power of Jesus. The miracle walking power of Jesus. The miracle walking power of Jesus. Go ahead and prophesy. Lord, I declare that these requests are turned to testimonies in the name of the Lord Jesus in the name of the Lord Jesus we declare we declare we have brought them before the altar they will never return to your life you have handed it before the altar it will never return to your life you've handed it before the altar of God it will never return to your life Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to do three things very quickly. Very, very quickly. I'm going to speak over our lives right now. Immediately after that, we'll take the altar call. Our time is gone, but even if it's two minutes, we have to give people who are making commitments for the Lord. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, everybody, and receive the final prophecy. These prophecies are powerful. That's why you hear people returning back with testimonies. The prophetic words change lives. In my opinion, you've heard me say it again and again. I believe this is the most powerful part of the miracle service. Not everyone may come out here. Not everyone may fall under the anointing, but the prophecy can come upon everyone. In the name of Jesus Christ. These Egyptians that you see over your life, over your destiny, I declare that by this miracle service, you see them no more forever. I declare that you see them no more forever. You see them no more forever. You see them no more forever. In the name of Jesus. Everything that has delayed you, the level you are supposed to have been, I don't know what that level is, but I don't know what stopped you from getting to that level right now. Between now and next miracle service, run with a dimension of speed you have never experienced. Run with a dimension of speed you have never experienced. Run with a dimension of speed you have never experienced. I pray for the works of your hands that has refused to grow. In the name of Jesus. I declare the month of June and July months of supernatural increase. That which is upon your hand is compelled to grow in the name of Jesus Christ. The kind of favor you have not seen from beginning of this year to this mid-year, I command in the name of Jesus, you will experience it. You will experience it in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, Revive now thy work in the midst of the year. In the midst of the year. It says revive now thy work. I don't know what has gone cold in your life. Maybe your prayer life. Maybe your word life. But by the message of the God of heaven I pray. Let there be revival for you right now. Supernatural revival for you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Before danger shows up in your life, may God give you the eyes to see. Before men conspire against you, may God open your eyes to see. Hallelujah. Where men have said you can never get to, the embargo they have put on your destiny, I tear it out of your life in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I pray for every student here. That unction, that anointing, 
that gives men capacity to be extraordinary I command it to fall upon you right now I command it to fall upon you right now for all final year students there is a finisher's anointing the grace that grants men access to finish in the name of Jesus as you push this one last time may the heavens push with you may the heavens push with you in the name of Jesus Christ every disfavor every bad luck everything that does not represent the aura of favor in your life I drive it far from your life in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus whatever makes money run away from your hand whatever makes it to change direction when it's almost getting to you I command that spirit to live your life forever I release abundance of financial supplies to you. abundance of financial supplies the spirit of fear that has stopped you from rising up and doing big things in the name of Jesus as this month comes to an end it drives that spirit out of your life I will always pray this prayer for you I call again the helpers of your destiny I don't know how to make you believe the power of this prayer but in the name of Jesus may they appear in your life hallelujah I want to pray a special prayer for you one of the blessings that God has given me in my life is unusual access God has given me strange dimensions of access access to men of influence access to men of authority I pray for you in this season whatever will connect you to men of influence not just men who can help you but men who have the ability to help you may that connection happen in the name of Jesus may that connection happen in the name of Jesus everything that has died in your hands I don't care for how long in the name of Jesus I command resurrection upon it I pray for you the resources you have in your hand grace comes upon it to multiply grace comes upon it to multiply grace comes upon it to multiply in the name of Jesus the presence of God that has distinguished men in this ministry may that supernatural glory that presence may that aura go with you everywhere you go whoever has said no to you I change their statements in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ finally I pray for your spiritual hunger what good is it if you get money you get all of these things and with it you lose your passion that whatever you lose in life may your passion for God not be one of them in the name of Jesus Christ everything you submitted here as a prayer request we turn it to your testimony we turn it to your testimony we turn it to your testimony in this period of my birthday as the Lord blesses me I pray that he will bless you too believe me I'm praying for you from my heart that whatever God does for me by his mercies the mercies of the God of David may he do it for you as God lifts me may he lift you as God wipes my tears may he wipe your tears in the name of Jesus Christ the next time we're looking for men to stand and testify genuinely in the name of Jesus may your testimonies be so heavy you cannot sit back there in the name of Jesus Christ everyone called barren go and return with your miracle children everyone called jobless go and return with a miracle job 
everyone due for promotion you had the testimony of prof in the name of jesus may the god that lifts men promote you promote your loved ones promote you and your loved ones in the name of jesus may you wake up in the morning and return back with miracles that will bring tears in your eyes while you are sleeping may god wake somebody to be wondering what to bless you with ah, yeah, 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 yeah. our time is gone but receive this i say it again that while you are sleeping may somebody else stay awake wondering how to bless you every gift you have but there is no platform to give it expression so that it will bless you there are many of us who have potentials but those who need it that access to them is far i connect you to those who need your gift i connect you to those who have the grace to celebrate you in the name of the lord jesus hallelujah while others are walking may you fly by the wings of the spirit may you fly by the wings of the spirit don't doubt the prayer i'm praying for you don't let the devil make you think he's just talking i'm not just talking i say it again while men are walking may the lord give you wings with which you will fly every family represented here not just as individuals as a family return with your testimony what you have been praying for to happen in your family i declare that between now and the end of june may you begin to record testimonies in the name of the lord jesus christ two minutes very quickly you're surrendering your all and your heart to Jesus. Please keep standing. No movement around. There are two sets of people I want to invite here quickly. Those who are saying, man of God, I love the Lord, but I need his help in my life. And those who are saying, I have never even made that commitment. Please, let's rise as we honor them. They need to be encouraged. I know there are people like that. We don't want to cajole you. God has spoken to your heart already. Outside and in any of the overflows, make your way to the front right now. Please, we have one minute for this. God bless you as you come. Don't wait for the first person. God bless you. Run out. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. The Lord is speaking to you and he's saying, make your ways right. Make your ways right. It doesn't matter what you have done. God is giving you as many chances as will take to be restored to him. Make your way to the front. You need Jesus. The Lord is calling you. God bless you. Please, if you are coming, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up so that we save time. Clear the way for them, especially in the overflow outside hallelujah thank you so much for coming lift your hands if you're coming out then join them say after me lord jesus i love you we're hurrying up but it doesn't mean we're joking say lord jesus i love you and i believe in you tonight i surrender my heart i surrender my life i surrender my all Take me, use me, anoint me for your glory. From today, I am yours forever. In the name of Jesus, I pray that this prayer will be sealed by the presence of the Holy Spirit. You keep rising from glory to glory. Your love and passion for God will never diminish. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Thank you so much for answer of the altar call. Just make your way out. There's someone waving his hands. They're waving their hands to you and they'll have your details. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Appreciate them coming on here. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching this from. And then if you've got any testimony for us, kindly.
kindly share with us. Thank you for watching. In the name of Jesus, drought in your life, that even when it is physical rainy season, it is still dry season spiritually, financially and otherwise, I decree and declare, let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain